Uh, we've just returned from the chaos of Gen Con, which was awesome, and we're all still recovering from that chaos. It was a very high energy weekend. We got to meet a lot of you guys out there. Didn't get to meet enough of you. There's only so much time in the weekend, and those that we didn't, we'll hopefully get a chance to meet you at another future event. But uh, the live show went really well. I uh, hope people who were there enjoyed it. Um, uh, let's see. We have Laura and Travis are coming in hot right now. They'll be here as soon as they can. Uh, in the interim, a couple announcements, a couple fun things. Um, one, there will not be a standard episode of Critical Na Role next week because me, uh, Talos, and Marisha, Lauren Travis, will be off in a desert somewhere. Uh, instead, uh, there will be a one shot being run none other uh, than from the wonderful, the illustrious, the talented Sam Regal, his first game of any role playing game he's ever oh, DM'd before. I'm so excited. Ooh, it's going to be great. I was just learning how to DM from Matt about a minute ago, <laughs> and I think I know. I think you got this. <laughs> do, do want, yep. Do you want to talk about uh, any of the people who'll be playing with you? Uh, sure, I, sure, yes. Uh, I, I, my players that I will be controlling. That's how it works, right, man? Yeah, totally. That's exactly how it works. <laughs> uh, my players will be uh, the talented and charming Liam O'Brien. <laughs> dagger, 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 dagger. Um, the charming and cabbage smelling Brian Foster. Hey. I can't wait. Friend of the show and a charming. Uh, everything. Mary Elizabeth McGlynn. Yay! Uh, young Ashley Birch. Yay! Yay! Pulling Super some drunk. shit out of her ass, I'm sure. I'm just, it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> and then a, a player we have not played with yet, which uh, his, uh, he's a lovely voice actor and a talented man, Eric Bowser. Yeah! You look him up on IMDb, he's the voice of everything. He's brilliant. Bowser is funny as fuck. Yeah. He has never like played Dungeons and Dragons before. Excellent. Oh man! I am, I'm like oh, legitimately kind of sad that we're gone next week, just mm -hmm. so we couldn't be from the wings to watch it in person. Yeah. Oh, we'll have a lot of road time to watch it on the way back. That's true, we will. Yeah. With, so I'm excited, man. It's like, week. with Bowser at the table, any celebrity could show up. He That's can true. impersonate anybody. That's true. Yeah. Anybody. <laughs> he's he, yeah, he has about five or six years before he just becomes the voice of our industry, <laughs> like, like the living embodiment of it. Yep. Yeah, um, absorbs us like the end of Akira. Yeah. Uh, so that's gonna be fun. Look forward to that next yeah. week. Um, let's see so what else. Merch, Laura. Oh, oh, oh! There's some stuff oh, in the store. Oh my goodness, you guys! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so don't have my things. bear, my tell me. Okay, go to geekandsundries.com, the whatever the store is. <laughs> You're gonna get the shit beat out of you. I, I, I know. <laughs> gonna see it. Oh, she's, she's watching it right it. now. Oh, oh no. D20, yeah. D20. Never mind. <laughs> Oh, well, then you're, you're in trouble. What about, like, do the, the is there a hands. book update? Is there a sticker update? Is there a shirt update? Do we um, know there, are, there is a sticker update. We found them. The oh, we mail, did? The mail yeah. has found them oh, from where okay. USPS quite literally lost them. Okay, okay. Um, they're, I think the, the distributor found them, and now they're being sent back to the distributor, so they can just be sent back to us, and then we will be dropping those in the mail. I'll get those to everyone who was there at Gen Con that signed up, and then when what's left over, we'll get announcements up to how we can get those to some folks as well. We're figuring that out still. Yeah. So we got, we've got a process on that one. Mm -hmm. um, but the Teldor campaign guide went well, yeah. uh, apparently, at Gen Con. People seem to like it, I hope you like it. Um, I know they're they're pushing hard to get those orders out to all the pre-orders uh, by like mid to late September. So just follow Green Ronin Pub at Twitter um, for any updates on when those will be going out. So thank you very much. We should probably re-announce the art book that oh, we're yeah. making. Oh, yeah. There's an art book. There's an art book that's There's happening. Book. It's going to hit in the fall at some point. It's amazing. We've seen it. We've held an approximation of it. We've all sobbed silently as we look through it. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's it's kind of that. That phenomenal celebration of everything that you guys have put together around this this game, no and joke. it's it. Yeah. Uh, I'm so it's, excited for yeah. you guys to see it. It feels like a time capsule, uh -huh. but in a book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's weird. And as long as we're vamping, uh, I've seen some of that comic book, man. This is looking good. Oh, yeah. It's looking good. It's under the table in my bag. It looks so good. <laughs> oh, I'm buddy, Mr. Colville's done a fine job. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And excited. Olivia's done and an Olivia's amazing job as well. Yes. Everyone involved has been great, so I'm excited for that to come forward. Mm -hmm. so blah, 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 blah. 
Love it. I think we've stalled all we can stall, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. By the way, the reason Travis and Laura are not here is because we all brought our dice and our our little character sheets and stuff to uh, to Indianapolis, and they left theirs at home, and so they drove home to go get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because you need a character sheet. It's yeah. important when you've crawled into a mountain's butt. Yeah. yeah. That's what the name of this this module is going to be. Crawling into yeah, the mountain's mountain. butt. <laughs> Guy Gax be proud. Mm. <laughs> we're we're like behind his meniscus, right? Aren't we like in his knee? Isn't that where we went in? You're like, we were like, 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 like in the like hip. hip joint. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. real like close kinda, to the butt. Yeah. 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 Up his, over, okay. yeah. yeah. Right up, right in that sciatic nerve. On brand. Oh, bring On it, brand. Bring it into territory I'm very familiar with right mm. now. Um, in the fundamental. Hope, hope Can we do that? Can we just find pressure points and just like take him down with like Spoilers. acupressure? That's up to you guys. <laughs> um, oh, and for next week, uh, for talks, I believe you're doing a special talks mocking now. You're we're doing in, something. You and Brian. Yeah, we're gonna what's up, what's we're gonna fuck that? around. I don't actually know. I'm <laughs> laser focused on yeah. my shitty one shot. Up. Brian Good. and I are chatting about it. Okay. You'll be naked. Thanks okay. for. Tanking the week for yeah. us. Yeah, no, sure. well, we're sure. also doing Wednesday Club. Me and Liam. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're going to be talking about my favorite book, uh, Hellboy. Hellboy. I'm just going to be bringing in a bag of Bazooka uh, Joe comics from the gum. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have I have something I can spend time with. Um, for those who uh, <laughs> we're very subtle about this, guys. Yeah, for those who didn't catch the debut episode of One Night Only, it was yeah. awesome. Yeah, we talked about Sagas of Sundry Dread, Everybody and was so mm -hmm. yeah, we, we all dressed up. we dressed we up. Fancy. We, we, made it, we made we made it we made it an adventure. Sure. What is one night only? One night only is our special event series that we are attempting to do monthly. Is okay. the goal where we basically bring you um, people from your favorite fandom in <laughs> entertainment and pop culture and get to like ask questions with them, oh. kind of panel style, oh, kind of inside cool. the actor studio style. Mm. So it can be anything. Are you James Lipton in this equation? Well, this, Actually. it was Darren DePaul this oh. past oh. week. He's but we're, we're gonna switch it up James depending James on, um, depending on what the subject matter is. I really wanna do a JPL one night only, where we bring mm. all the, all the smart scientist dudes from the stars come from out NASA and, and JPL. I'm yeah, sure there are ladies, critters yeah. in SpaceX. Yeah. Oh, yeah. well, sure actually, but we've gotten we have, we've we've gotten gotten critters. At mm -hmm. SpaceX. Come on over, Elon. But yeah, and then for those who missed it, we announced at the end of One Night Only that there will be a season two of Sagas of Sundry Whoa. entitled Madness. Madness. <laughs> Yeah, suddenly I showed up and there's like that 30 yards of uh, 30 yards of red velvet that I've been Boy, let me tell you what, what I had for lunch today. Yeah. Uh, no. Essentially doing an episode of All Work No Play right now. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. Uh, no. Should we start? Maybe by the time you're done. I think at this point we need to. We just gotta go. For your go. sake and ours, because go. I, I hate will vamping. Jaeger, Pike, Grog, and Vex. It will be fine. Great. Yeah. Yay! Let, go uh, table uh, left. Titties. Let's do it. <laughs> anyway. Table left. <laughs> table top. Table above. Yeah. Table. Are they above? Table left. So, that being the case, as we await the return of two of our players, let us begin. Tonight's journey on tonight's episode of Critical Role.
Hello, and welcome back. Yeah. So, last we left off on this adventure. <laughs> last we left on this God damn it, Liam. Last we left off on this adventure, Vox Machina had been counting down their preparations to the eventual showdown and second battle with Vecna, who they discovered recently had completed his ascension into godhood, here, the only god in the Prime Material Plane. Not knowing what his plans were, you begun to bring together the information you had upon gathering blessings from different deities and uh, pieces of their divinity to craft the Prime Trammels, a device that was once used to seal the chained oblivion long ago. You travel deep beneath the volcano of Skaldseat, beneath the ocean off the coast of Osiria, uh, between Percival and Grog's newfound imbuement of skills and knowledge via Ayun. You manage to successfully defeat the Guardian and craft the Trammels and return to Vasselheim, where you discovered via Pike that there was a council meeting, a meetle, a council meeting Sorry. happening within the uh, Platinum Sanctuary. There you met up with, uh, it seemed to be the Hand of Vord. Uh, yeah, like everyone was there. Wait, uh, I gotta get my notebook out. High Hierophant uh, Ophira of the uh, the Birthheart. Um, there was Earthbreaker Groon. There were uh, Maidens of the Raven there. And then eventually, Allura and Kima, and uh, Jamon Saord had also uh, come into the fray. So, during this discussion about what to do, what to handle, you were granted a ring by High Bear of Ord that within a certain radius could prevent uh, divination, you know, specifically scrying on you, not the school of divination, but magics that divine your location, whatever's in your vicinity. Um, this moment, it seems the council was interrupted by an image of Vecna taunting you until it was dispelled by Allura. The discussion was that something was going on in the mountain range where Vecna seemed to have Tharamfala, which had been discovered by a couple of surviving Wyvern writers. Um, and thinking about one of the, of the two possible locations that could be of interest to Vecna, you gathered your materials, your preparations, and with the first striking lot of Wyvern Riders on the back of the newly transformed Jamansa Ord into the Devosa dragon form, you were transported via druids to the northern icy landscape of Isilra, to the base of the Zenric Mountains, where you discovered that the Crypts of Thomara, an ancient forgotten dwarven society and civilization that had destroyed itself through cannibalism and madness, um, was now a sinkhole in the mountain range and a series of large, heavy, uh, 150 plus foot across uh, cavernous openings in the ground formed a pattern that you'd soon discovered were footfalls, steps, and came upon what seemed to be the risen undead primordial earth titan, long, long left beneath the surface of the world, dead since the founding, now given unlife and walking its way southeast towards Vasselheim, where atop its shoulders there was, you saw, uh, Tharamfala, protected by some sort of a magical barrier. There, you struggled with a few fleets of flying uh, gloomstalkers that were charging their way towards you, you turn yourself invisible through both Scanlan and uh, uh, Jaman Saord. I'll say Jaman or Devosa, I can't. The, both forms, same person. Um, you manage to, thanks to a very high uh, roll from Keyleth, discover there is some sort of a waterfall or a trickle of liquid um, near the hip of this giant titan. It's giant, four swinging arms of imminent danger in its vicinity, um, only managing to clip. Keyleth and Vax once, surviving the impact, you all gathered at this this ingress right around the hip of the Titan, where you leapt off the dragon and proceeded to make your way in, where Keyleth, using control water, was keeping the heavy flow of some sort of an underground river from blowing you off the broken steps that lead into your entry. And that is where we left off. So, at this time, Keyleth, as you're all standing, looking over your shoulder, you can see the opening where you entered, where it's just this, this giant view through this, this window where you can see down below the mountains and the valleys and the landscapes 
uh, outside, you can hear the wind blowing through and battering like a heavy, deep whistle. Um, there is the oh, and we have the rest of our party. Perfect time. Holy Welcome. Shit, cast cast Just okay, we'll start from announcements again. Cool. Thank you. That would be great. I did a very good job with merchandise. Did you? Yep. Yep. This is. Thanks. <laughs> What did you say about merchandise? He didn't say anything, but he did a great impression of you. Cool. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry about that. A professional is on time, Laura. It was actually up to me to remember, and and I didn't, and she was (laughs) closest to him. So So thank you, Laura. (laughs) Yeah, thanks. So, as you all stand now on the outside of the opening of this. Uh, Titan Ingress, the slick uh, stone steps that break off and crumble into the open expanse where you can plummet hundreds of feet to your death should you slip. Uh, Keyleth is holding the water at bay, keeping the flow from pushing you all at back outside of the large Earth entity. Um, gathering your strength, you watch as Jamansa Ord's brass dragon form flies just outside of your visual range, and you now all stand within this 15-foot-wide entryway. What do you do? Is there a passage so that we can get out of the out of the uh, flow of the water if once it's been released? Currently, the flow mostly covers about ten to fifteen feet of this of this opening. It just kind of flows downward. It's not super strong, but it's enough where it would be somewhat dangerous uh, to some of you. However, Keyleth is keeping it at bay, so for as long as she can concentrate. A while. Okay. Actually, and if she weren't controlling it, would there still be, even though it's dangerous, some air? It's not like a full. Yeah, on yeah. It's it, it may be up to your knees okay. as far as the flow. It's okay. just, you know, a possible slip in your mm-hmm. fighting the current to push you outside of the Titan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's concentration up to ten minutes. Okay, well let's. So let's move quickly. Let's move quickly. So we're just going in, into the giant. Well, it's either that or back out. Okay. Uh, Did I already? Do I still have Passive Trace on us? Uh, you haven't from lost last concentration on it. So okay, so it's still going so. from last game. Okay. Cool. Um, what's the marching order, by the way? Uh, I'll be up front. All right, we have Vax up front. Who's next? Uh, I'll be behind Vax since we touched down first, I guess. All right, Keyless after Vax. Who's next? I will be behind him. All right, is Trinket still in your necklace? Uh, yeah, I'm biffing him out right now. Okay, Trinket is out next to you. Who's after? Uh, thanks. I will be Lucky Pierre, right in the middle. Um, Pike will walk right in front of Grug. Yeah, and I'll be the caboose. I'll be right by Krug, yeah, and I'll be I'll be between Pike and Grug. Yeah, right there. Okay, good to know. So, slick steps across the uh, smooth stone walkway, uh, the water, however, being kept at bay by Akil. You watch as this, this river is being curled back into itself and the flow is being staunched, like it's briefly frozen in time. Um, it's, a, it's a very unique thing to see, especially as the darkness. There is no light source inside, so you just watch the, you can see, especially those of you with dark vision, you can see the flow and the movement, and then it swirls back on itself, and it seems to be just contained in that space. And as you push up, bits of it kind of splash and trickle out to the side, but for the most part, you maintain complete control of this flow. Um, as you continue up the cracked stone stairs, there's a slight right curvature up into this shaded area. The roof of this opening is about maybe 10 feet tall, and it dips down with uh, some of the, the rough rock outside and, and ceiling area of this to about seven to six feet. Grog, you have to dip down a few times, and you see hints of uh, stalactites that you have to kind of maneuver around and push through. It's not a very huge opening, and it seems to vary in its size. And with each heavy footfall, you have to kind of catch yourself on the wall as the impact and the, the shake, the <laughs> of each step of the titan you're within seems to cause you to shift slightly and a very, very faint bit of dust be released from the tunnel around you. Uh, I'm just going to start, because we don't know what's... Part of this is is the titan's butt and earth, but some of it could have been made by cannibal dwarves at some point, so I'm just going to just assume that I'm looking for traps and look and listening for cannibal dwarves, undead cannibal dwarves. Okay, so you're taking a very, very slow... Yeah. Approach. Actually, that's a good point. Does this look like it was carved or. by man from cannibal dwarves, or or 
Ma- a nature made. Make an investigation check. I, I investigation would, or nature check? Not be nature check. <laughs> My better one. This doesn't count. Out of the tray. Uh, 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 no, mm. no, 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 nope, 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 nope. Four total. I mean, you. Much of this tunnel seems to be natural cavern. But there were steps when you first came in. There were like stone steps that were carved or placed within the dirt that eventually were consumed or covered by uh, silt and loose earth and whatever the river seemed to have knocked loose and began to flow over it. Um, so you can see both. A lot of this is natural, but there seem to be at least in just the few, maybe like 30 or 40 feet you've made into the tunnel at this point, you've seen elements of civilization of crafted entry that merge with the terrain. Did we get a time frame of how long ago this crypt was built before? Like how old this crypt has been around? Uh, early Age of Arcanum. So Ooh. best estimate from what you knew, from you guys both learning about the history of this, um, well over 1,500 years, if not longer. Long time ago. Long. Before the Great <clears throat> War. Uh, after the founding, which is the first Great War, sure. where the Titans were slaughtered, uh-huh. and then the beginning of the Age of Arcanum, which was long before the uh, Divergence. Okay. Well, we got the our toys from. Yes. Yep. Can I touch like the ground now that we're in the Titan, thinking maybe this might be where the knuckles are from? Can I like touch it and see if the oven mitts do anything? Uh, their their like just general faint vibration never stops. Wow. There's just a perpetual, very very. Minute hum to them, right. and t- touching it doesn't seem to have any effect or change. Just the proximity seems to be triggering them some sort of harmonization. I reach up and touch my Adam's apple, and I'm like, "This place is <laughs> crazy." <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, you wouldn't do it. I think you would. All right, so make an investigation check, right. Vax, as you slowly lead the group up this slightly curving tunnel. Uh, zubba, 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 zubba. Uh, that is a 27. 27, yeah. okay. I didn't get to sort them. You well, you should do that now. Each, you know. <laughs> chaos. <clears throat> Introduce some chaos. Indeed. As you guys slowly make your way along the path, uh, behind Vax, you look out and occasionally see bits of uh, loose earth that looks looser than most. And as you brush it aside, you can see the steps continue. A lot of it's been buried, but this this was a staircase that slowly ascended and curved. Um, just the movement of the Titan seems to have knocked a lot of the loose tunnel to cover it. And so as you kind of brush it aside, you carefully look about and you can see that there are occasional <laughs> symbols of a writing you don't understand, but nothing stands out to you as a trap or a trigger. Okay. Does it look familiar to any of us? Uh, what languages do you guys know? <laughs> Just why are you looking over here? Draconic I know bizarre. stick figures, I know charades. Primordial. Can read? Any of you know dwarven? No dwarven. Yeah, you can read dwarven You can now. read dwarven Remember with your you belt. Remember you can read now, Rog, you can read four to five letter words. With your I mean, I can. I can read dwarven because of the belt. <laughs> So, but only tiny bits. Yeah, I might fuck up the bigger pieces. Okay, and right. it was when you were a so, celestial, when you could read so anything. So, speak. Oh, but that's yes. As Vax points out some of these symbols, you, I don't want it. <laughs> you sit there and concentrate really hard on one of the the, the carvings in the recently uncovered uh, stone step. And as you focus, you begin to sound out the sound to yourself repeatedly. This gru. And like you're trying to find the right way to pronounce it. Ballram <laughs> new. Essentially. Babe, anyone? Yeah, yeah okay. that was nice. Um, <laughs> it takes you about two to three minutes to sound this out, which knocks about two to three minutes off of your concentration uh, time for your control okay. auto spell. Um, but this, it, it looks to be carved in as a warning. Um, do hush. <laughs> do hush. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Strangely, if you if you could have seen Thomara when it was a highly functioning society, they would have been blasting Rammstein everywhere, man. Speak Rammstein and enter. <laughs> yeah, this was like these weren't the happy-go-lucky dwarves of old. The, this was a very brutal clan. Um, it looks like a warning of some kind. Um, it it speaks uh, the rough translation from what you can. It's spending about five minutes or so breaking out oh, come uh, on, uh, this glyph and a few other glyphs. Um, it says, leave death here no further. Right. It says, leaves death here no fur. No fur? Here. No, no fur, fur here? We may be no, fur, no further. Oh. So wow. leaves death here. Leave some death here, but no further. <laughs> Got it. Just here. I'm still working it maybe out. Maybe it's no fur. Maybe we should leave Trinket. I'm just saying. True. That's still, the furriest still. one. He must I don't want Trinket to die. <laughs> Thanks, Gavin. It's a general. He can be safe in my necklace. It's a general no warning. Can I? Man, I mean, I feel like we already knew so much of that. <laughs> No, I've been working really hard. That was like five minutes no, of the most so concentration good. I've you ever so given to one thing in my life. You did it. Thanks. <laughs> okay, let's get up this river before I lose concentration. <laughs> okay. Uh, you push up another 60 or so. Oh, so. I can't talk today. Is it 60 or so feet? Uh, with Vax still keeping the, the point man on this. Slowly pulling forward, you begin to hear the, uh, the sound of rushing water growing louder. And louder. Great. You eventually come across the rift in the ceiling that is spilling forth the water that is forming this river. It looks like there is a recent uh, crack and a piece of eroded earth that has fallen out and from some sort of water source further up inside the Titan that is causing this uh, this river to continuously run in and out of this Titan. Um, How does this work? I mean, like, how is he functioning? How much water could a Titan hold? Well, this thing is massive. I mean, he's basically know, a walking but, mountain, yeah, so I think like he can hold a lot. Like a barrel of water in his chest? Well, yeah. It's like yeah. a yeah. ground yeah. 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 An underground yeah. lake. Yeah, when he like, stood up. Water yeah. just drained out of him, you know? This like a reservoir. Like... Res We're always impressed by how much water comes out of you. Mm, it's true. <laughs> uh, so, th at this point, you guys would be able to move around. Uh, and continue up past where this opening is, and the river would no longer be uh, impeding your path. Okay. Let's, uh, let's, do, let's that. do that. Okay. Let's, let's Keep moving up, right? That's where the city is. Up, uh, sure. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Uh, uh, yeah. Can I do like a nature check? Is there anything weird about this? Sure. While she's what doing do a nature check, I want to do um, primeval awareness and sense undead in the area. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, oh. Um, within a mile of me. Oh, wow, that was amazing. What the fuck okay. is with these rolls? Uh, <laughs> many. So many. Like three? Within the within the mile. Within, within like a mile, close. which is pretty much the entirety of the Titan. Yeah. Just a shit time. Plus, considering the Titan is triple, triple undead. Digits. Thousands. Four digits. Mm -hmm. Shit. Thousands. I mean, but they're probably sense. in inoperable pieces. Or like, are they, or like, are they all like nice above us, or is there ones like near us? Uh, nothing Weeps. within like the very immediate vicinity, due to the limitations of primeval awareness, which does not show you the exact, the exact location. location right. You just sense the presence in kind of vague direction. Um, bing, 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 bing. Forward and upward, there is just this giant mass of undead force that, like, the, the minute you focus, it's, like it's, it causes you to hold your breath. As soon as the impact hits you, and you almost have to remind yourself to exhale. <laughs> um. <laughs> but maybe they're all hypnotized or something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Seventeen. Probably. Okay. Oh. The structural damage appears to be natural, um, and as you pay attention and watch, as another footfall of the Titan hits, <laughs> when it shakes, you watch as another piece of rock kind of <laughs> falls, and a little water flow kind of expands a little more to allow a little more water to exit. You get the sense that as the Titan moves, the longer it travels, the more it's going to fall apart. Or at least portions of it that were <gasps> kind of built into the Titan that aren't part of its natural body. Are going to start to crumble. Some of them may, depending <gasps> on how well they're made. Earthquake the Titan! 
I've thought Something about what? that. Just to fucking fall apart. Oh, we're, we're in it. Yeah, but <laughs> we could take out the entire city. We're I, in I, it. Last time we did that, it's kept floating up top. What if? Yeah, but it couldn't move anymore for a while. Let's get to the top. Then. We have to get to the top. This thing is too big. I don't think my earthquake will do enough. It's in the grab bag. We know it's, it's, it's If we're inside Does like the GI tract of this Titan and we give it an earthquake, I mean, what is if it, it basically just like, like mm, it gives it the runs? Mudslide. Big old. <laughs> Big old dead titan fight. <laughs> no. I mean, potentially. It's a good idea. It could idea. shit out a lot of dwarven zombies. And us. It yeah, is also an option if we do get overrun. Yeah. True. All right, we could Did you learn up. it today, Pike? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, we're playing Pike? Oh, yeah. well. We are playing Pike. We, you, you two. We are. We're okay. the Pike Jaegerers. Okay. <laughs> Okay, mostly the M. Okay, all right. You can do the impression and I will (laughs) sort through the pages. Okay. There you go. All right, so as you guys descend past the rushing water, the sound of the river begins to slowly fade behind you as you continue to spiral upward, the slow crawling, ascending tunnel. Um, Now, the dirt that consumes the stairs at your feet uh, eventually begins to give way as your feet find purchase in softer earth and loose gravel uh, and the rocky terrain as you continue to push further and further into the interior of this titan. Um, you feel another <laughs> heavy impacting footfall and all of you have to brace yourself this time. Bonk. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> you have to brace yourself against the nearby wall, this impact seeming heavier than others, and as it does, a number of rocks <laughs> tumble what past. What do you think you just did? Do you think you just fell? Maybe? I think we can feel it. I think he swung at something, maybe. Another <gasps> footfall. <laughs> Another <laughs> footfall. <laughs> um, with the, yeah, the, every single hit seems to cause the, the foreign structures on the inside to really <laughs> hope that they were made well. Um, Another heavy footfall hits even heavier than the last, and this one, the impact hits so hard that you guys are almost thrown to your knees as you reach out and you hear this loud crack sound above you. I need Scanlan, Pike, Percival, and Grog to make a dexterity saving throw, please. Dex, huh? Yep. Pike needs to do it too, right? Yep. Natural 20. Hey! Ooh, doctor. Gil coming in in the clutch. Ooh, what's up, Gil? What's up, 15? Gil? 15? 13. 13. 13 for the other gnome. Mm. All right. Um, everyone but Grog, you glance up just in time to watch as a large piece of the tunnel ceiling dislodges and comes plummeting down in your direction. Groggy, you dive out of the way, being clipped off the shoulder, but you manage to avoid most of the impact. The rest of you, however, immediately get buried oh. by rock oh. and broken earth, <coughs> suffering 29 points of bludgeoning damage to Percival, Pike, and Scanlan, and they are buried, restrained right now, unable to breathe. Unable to breathe? I go over and I start. Just like dog, boulders, dirt, everything. Okay. Uh, between all of you guys able to help, it's, it's a neg- negligible period of time and it wasn't too heavy of an impact. You managed to get them free over the next five or so minutes or so. They get their breath back. A bit, a bit battered, but you get the sense too that um, you should travel quickly. I'm like, yeah, keep, keep going, keep going quickly. Uh, Picking up the pace a bit, you continue up the uh, the curvature of the uh, the upward ascension. Uh, you it's been probably about I'd say sixty or seventy feet since you've seen any sort of natural, I'm sorry, any any carved portion of terrain, any sign of of previous dwarven construct or or uh, building or architecture. As the tunnel stops the curve, it eventually, uh, looking ahead. Ascends a bit, about a, a ten foot climb up onto a plateau of some kind. You can see like some weird root like tree is growing out of one wall and seems to just be like dead and uh, petrified in its current space. Um, do you guys wish to ascend to the plateau? I mean, 
probably should, right? Uh, how far away is it? Uh, it's about 40 feet from you right now. Mm-hmm. I'm going to creep up uh, like 20 feet in front of everybody else. Okay. I want to go with him. You still okay. Keep an eye out for the zombie dwarves. Divine sense, which is specific to undead location, not vague. Mm-hmm. If there's within 60 feet, I'll use one. Okay. Uh-huh. Focusing. No undead. I'm okay. 60 feet of you. That's good. 60 feet worth. I just drank a tiny little potion of healing. I healed six. Good job. Six. six. <laughs> <laughs> so it's leading like up to a plateau? Yeah, it goes up about 10 or so feet, 15 feet up, and then it leads to the plateau, and you can't see beyond I'm that. I'm going to scuttle up and just boop and look okay. over. Okay, are you, are you stealth? Yeah. Stealth? Well, stealth check. Cool. Add 10 to it. Dex, are you going with him or just letting him scout ahead? I went, I crawled up, but then once he took off again, then I stayed. Okay. Once uh, he took off again. 41. 40, okay, cool. 41? 41. That's the number. This is old news, he guys. Gets this is roll. old news. This is what I get is to it, do. It seems new to me every time. All right. Roll the rope next time. <laughs> you ascend to the top of this plateau. Uh, it only goes on about 15 feet and then descends down into another chamber that splits in two different directions. Okay. But the tunnel goes to the right and to the left. Uh, you can see, once again, the, the stalactites, some of them meeting in the center uh, with stalagmites to form pillars. You can see portions of the wall that have collapsed and created these kind of soft uh, landslides in one corner to the right of you. Um, but currently all you see is the descending tunnel and then the split, and you can't see too far one way or the other. With dark it's going down? See. Yeah, uh, I turn around to the group and just do like a and then I go down over a stealthing along the way. Okay. Push below, below. Anyone else? <laughs> Freedom. I guess we follow him, yeah. but. What did this mean? Did this mean we're supposed to follow him and split up? I think that means that there's a split there's in the path. There's a split in the road. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Let's split up anyway. Just okay, yeah. He's gonna, you go one way and we'll sure, go the other. Sure. <laughs> okay. So as the rest of you kind of ascend to the top of the plateau, you make your way down to the center and you can see the path goes to the right and the left. Um, both seem fairly identical, though they're traveling in opposite directions. Mm. We, we entered in the left side of the body. Uh, it would be, if you were to look at it straight on, like it's facing you, it would be the uh, right side. It's it's facing us. Correct. So our right, it's left. No, it's right, <laughs> no. our left. Stage left. Correct. I'm looking at its butt. It's right. If you're looking at its butt, to the right. We were to the right. To the right. right leg. All right, to the right leg. Right leg. So if we so split, we probably want to keep to the core of it. So, so go to the left. left. To the left. To the left. To the left. To the left. That is a decision. Straight Not up the middle. Okay. Okay. All things being equal. I mean, like, we'll yeah, check, well, obviously, that makes sense. For, for air current and everything you own in a tunnel. I, I can do it. Right. <laughs> um, oh, no. At which point, oh, no. there is what sounds like an explosion of rock and dirt Percival. immediately to the left of Percival. <laughs> oh, damn it. As two heavy rock like limbs reach out, grab, and pull him against the wall as the ceiling <laughs> crumples over and collapses. He's now vanished within the wall and now leaving a pile of rock in what? its place. Wait, who is? Percival. 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 Into the wall. Take him out. Oh, God. Darkness. I go up. And you're now uh, restrained, and there is no air. I just start clawing at the wall. Okay, where he was. you start clawing it. Um, at this point, over, yeah. with, the, with the alertness peaked up between you two yeah, and Keyleth, sure. you glance around. And you can see things emerging out of the nearby oh, walls, oh. like the rocks themselves are almost uh, pushing through. Uh, I said, "Get to the middle, stay away from the walls," and I cast <laughs> transmute rock, like right in the space where he went, and I reach my hands in and try and grab him out of mud. Okay. Yeah. Oh, shit. It's a fifth level spell. Oh, shit. Transmute. Right. Have Transmute. you transmuted yeah. anything? Get him, Kaylin! I've, I've done it once before and it didn't work very well. Oh, right. Good. So, as you do that, this entire section of the wall <laughs> turns to like a, like a heavy, soft uh, mud uh, material, and you your arms plunge into it, and you feel, and you grab Percival and pull him out. Nice. Uh, you, you're just covered in, in, in thick, sludgy. Mud, and uh, as he's pulled out, you guys glance around and you can see shifting in the darkness. The walls in certain places seem to almost move. I spin oh, around and. I pull need you there. all to roll initiative. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. We're fighting walls. <laughs> Do you want me to roll? First doors, now walls. Cousins of doors. What the fuck? 
that Pike. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I know aquariums. Is that a 19? So we have a vest. Huh? A 19? Right there. Yeah. You rolled for Pike? I was going to roll for Pike. No, I'm not going Nobody's already rolled. Ursula, you were That's pulled into this side me. there. That was me, I had advantage. Uh, then Pike, I had just pulled well, you out there. What she got? Did she have a plus? She has no plus. Just effects. And Trinket. I would be closer to Percy than Trinket is. That's true, yeah. you were scrambling at the wall. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's like, there. there. Was, I was as well. I was with the twins were scrabbling at the rock. This is so cool. Alrighty. And that being yeah. the case, then, you guys are all clustered up in that time. No. Oh. <laughs> no. Well, we were. Wait. We were... Matt, wait. Oops. Wait. 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 The wait. walk sign wait. is on. Wait. wait. <laughs> you watch as these creatures that are similar to the living Earth physicality of the Titan and or the elemental form that Keyleth has taken in the past seem to emerge, but where their uh, once kind of glowing elemental eyes are, there's just a vacuous darkness. And you feel the rumble of the ground as they shift and glide through the rock in their vicinity. Oh, oh, oh they're oh. like undead, they're undead necromantic elementals? elemental How earth that they're, not, they're not undead, because you do not sense undead in the presence. But they're just elemental, like, like they're what? gut parasites. But Oh no! You guys, hey, guess what we didn't do? What? We didn't Your have feast. a feast. Well, how are we gonna have a feast? I'm we're ready, in a, we're in a big board I mean, meeting, we didn't and then know we that came we were here. Yeah. Be fighting. yeah. How would we know? All right. So, getting initiative orders here. Oh, it's bullshit. Hmm. All right. So, twenty-five to twenty. Twenty-one. Same thing. Oh, Twenty-one as well. Ooh. Right. Four plus seven is eleven. Twenty-one. Yes. Jeez. Roll a three and a 19. Dun, 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 Alright, 20 to 15? 19. 18. Oh. Nice. Wait. That's, that's bank. Alright, uh, 15 to 10? <laughs> 10 to 5? Eight. Bike rolled a one. Oh. 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 oh! She rolled a one. Yes. Yeah. All right, got it. So, <laughs> top of the round, Percival, as you just emerge, covered in the sludge, you look around and you can just, uh, which by the way, right now, you have no vision, uh, because nobody lit a torch, I should remember that. You're a human, you have no common sight. Um, we'll say, we'll say for the purposes of this, you had a torch out, so you could see this entire, I, mean, I while might you were been using my flashlight, I would imagine. Does right. Pike's Mace of Disruption always shed bright light for 20 feet? Uh, when, when she chooses when to. When she chooses to. Okay. Um, however, to. as soon as you were pulled into the wall and then dragged back <laughs> out, the and the, the whole surface of it is coated, so you were just seeing darkness. Yes. So you're, in your turn, you are blinded right now. Mm. I'm blinded? Yes, because you I can't see anything I can't around see you. Anything. All you hear is the moving and shifting of rock and your allies all preparing for some sort of assault. Um, I'm going to spend my turn then removing the mud from my eyes. And, okay. And uh, there's, I, I, I think I still have a charge in my flashlight at this point. So uh, you can't. Though it is covered in. I'm gonna. I'm gonna mind. spend. I'm gonna spend my bonus action clearing that, and then we'll say it'll take your whole turn. Oh, my whole to turn to clear yourself and to clear the light from that. So, there you go. So All at, right. at that point, the uh, the light at the front of your weapon lights up, illuminates the vicinity, and you see now the moving shadows are bits of rock and stone now moving, living ah, out of the nearby out, walls. Uh, How do we fight rocks? Um. I'm about to tell you. Be careful, they can go into the walls and earth glide, so watch your feet. So, Percival, you can move if you want to. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, is there one right next to me right now? Uh, uh, yeah, that's in there. There's one, maybe 10 feet. I'm gonna hop over by that, by that, by the little pool fountain. Yeah. I'm gonna back up and get out of this little clump of people. Um, uh, they're, yeah. uh, um, that sounds like you were casting a spell. Um, um, uh, they're, they're, they're vulnerable to thunder damage, lightning, anything vibrate because rocks. Which would be thunder. Which you will find out. Um, okay, so I'll say you're yelling that as everyone's yeah. preparing. Okay. Thunder damage. Thunder awesome massage. Thunder damage! All right. Uh, so that finishes Percival's turn. Grog, you're up. I would like to rage. Okay. I would like to spin around 180 degrees. Uh huh. And I would like to attack Clayface 
Right, they're all clay face. No, he specifically is clay face. Okay, go for it. Shit stain is down at the bottom of the stairs. Uh, Reckless! Go for it. Great weapon, Master. Not yet. Assassinate. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Uncanny uh, rage. 28. <laughs> Double dog hits. dare. Okay. Yeah! That is excellent. All right, all right, all right. Oh, I re-roll ones and twos. Nice. 20, oh, 22 plus one point of necrotic, 23 points of damage. 23 points of damage, the first hit. So as you spin around, jaw open, growling in rage, you bring the axe across and it just cuts across the front of his chest. He watches pieces of rock break off, but it still holds strong against the impact. I do it again. Oh, oh shit. Reckless, <laughs> great weapon master this time. Let's okay. Yeah. All right. 15. Nowhere. What's the band? Uh, third, third, 25. 25 hits. Okay. Oh, right. This is, keeps him from seeing us. 20, 30, 30, 31 points of damage. Woo, nice. The second hit, you swing around and slam it, actually gets stuck and wedged in part of its body. And for what looks to be the face, and it seems the mouth opens and gives this guttural <laughs> as a reaction, actually giving a pain excerpt upon the hit. However, as it reaches out, both of its hands grab the edge of the axe. No, no, no. All right, that end your turn. Uh, is, is he holding my axe? He's attempting to. Well, I wanted to move. Okay, then move. I'm moving. <laughs> I would like to go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, to face off with this guy. All right, well, that guy swings at you with his fist. As you pull away, you kind of rip the axe out of its grasp, and instead it takes one wide swing with its Right. But That's you slice its fingers off when he does it. I can't get retaliation. Which it has advantage on because uh, of your sharpness. That is a 20. It hits. <laughs> 24 to hit. Yeah. Right. I have a low eight. <laughs> I don't wear clothes. I wear right. gauntlets. So like... And for... You wear a smile. I wear skin and tattoos. That is uh, 18 points of bludgeoning damage, reduced to nine. Nine. Thank you. All right, that finishes your turn, Grog? Yes, it does. Vax, you're up. Hi. Hi. Okay. And you're on deck, Vax. Okay. I'm going to um, cast Hunter's Mark um. on um, the biggest one, this one. All right. And then I'm going to shoot him with Sharpshooter. Go for it. To wait. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, 19. 19. Minus five. Uh, 14. So 14. 14 does not hit, unfortunately. Awesome. As you, you mark it with your spell, you pull back the first arrow and it hits, but it ends up exploding, the shards of wood kind of scattering off of it, and you hear a slight. Yeah, 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 you motherfucker. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, 16. 16. Misses just barely. You go to shoot another arrow this time out of frustration as you pull back and let it loose. It actually backhands the arrow out of the air, scattering the shaft in the middle of the sky. I, mean, I didn't say sharpshooter. I didn't say sharpshooter on that one, did I? I didn't clarify. So, so that's so with the minus about the minus five. What would it be? It would be twenty-one. Okay. I but I didn't say you it. You didn't say it. But I should have said it, but I didn't say it. That's so. okay. We'll let it go. All okay. right. So go ahead and roll damage. Flea market. Regular damage. <laughs> so as it as it goes to backhand it out of the air, the arrow manages to sink in the center of its fist. It still causes a crack to widen across the various plates that keep its left arm together. 16 plus 5 lightning damage. And then since um, he is next to Pi. Next to Scanlan, I get sneak attack. Correct. Ooh, 12. Uh, 15 sneak attack. Ooh. And then Hunter's Mark, three. All righty. Fantastic. One, 39 damage, one hit. So oh. the second one is it hits, it causes this rift in the center of his large battering ram like arm to kind of shift and crack, and pieces like broken shale kind of peel and fall off to the ground around it. That ends your turn? Okay. Uh, do you want to move, or you stay where you are? I don't know. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna stay where I am. All right, Bax, you're up. We've been in here for under an hour. At, uh, probably not much time left, but under an hour, right? Since we arrived. Uh, pushing close to an hour. Okay. How high is the ceiling in, in this tunnel? About twelve feet. Twelve feet. I will uh, float above everybody, just in the space above their heads. We can just kind of fudge it. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, probably above where, between Percy and Pike, if we can manage it. All right. Uh, and I'm That's just good. going to uh, dagger, dagger, dagger with sharpshooter on all three, the one right below uh, me next to Keyleth. So here we go. All righty. Okay. So the first one is a 20. All right, that hits. Okay. Second one is balls. <laughs> and the third one is uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da is uh, 20. 20 hits as well, so okay. two hits. And because assassin, and they haven't gone yet, uh, sneak attack, oh, I have advantage because of assassin, so sneak attack. Correct. Also next to Keyleth, multiple reasons for sneak attack. Yep. Uh, okay. All the reasons. All the reasons, yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse me, Pike. <laughs> uh, so, that is 3 plus 8 is 11, plus second damage is 15, 19, 23, 25, 28, 29, 35, 36 for the first one. Uh, and then the last one just does a rinky dink. Uh, one. Oh, one. one point of damage. Yeah, because <laughs> offhand, offhand attack doesn't get any. There's no modifier, just whatever damage the weapon would deal. Yeah, just one. Okay, just one. Uh, so and I'll stay floating. All right. So as you're, as you're flying there, your wings still. Oh, plus. Don't you add six though? No modifier. That's the modifier. Well, no, no dexterity no, no, no. modifier. It still gets like weapon bonus. Yeah. Like damage bonus in the That's weapon. That's calculated from dexterity. Plus of two. So two. Oh, and sorry, and uh, twenty more for the for the sharpshooter. Ah, the uh, sharpshooter. Yeah. All okay. the numbers. All the numbers. That mine. All right. So as you release the torrent of daggers down, uh, one of them slams into the chest. That's another one hits and skids off to the side and vanishes. And the third one actually strikes right where the first dagger was, driving it deeper in. Both of them seem to like wedge and break the interior of its chest. And you watch as parts of its body are falling off in chunks. And it's giving this horrible sucking sound, like it's barely holding itself together. But there it still stands. That ends your turn. Scanlan, you're up. Okay, I will sort of rotate around the guy with the red ring around him. There. So that I'm between him and his friend. Right there? Yeah. Okay, you're right on the edge. There's there's a there's a platform drop off behind you. Really <laughs> <laughs> really so as you rush over there, you're like, Ugh. you watch a couple of rocks kind of tumble off and clatter below. Oh, okay. Type uh, of drop, not too bad. Sure, and I'll cast. Oh, I'll inspire Grog first because hey, <laughs> I'm about to hit you. Okay. <laughs> Fair uh, I will sing. Hey now, you're a grog stuff. Get your axe up and slay. Hey now, you're a grog stuff. Get your rage on and rage. Oh, Laura's dice are gold. Now a d12 can be rolled. Oh, that shit out of the last minute. Yeah, came back around. Uh, All right, so Dick, your inspiration, most you, definitely. Uh, and then I'll do. Uh, <laughs> Third, third level thunder wave. Third, yeah. third level thunder wave. Yeah. Towards, that thunder wave. Towards which one? Both. Both of these guys. Fifteen it's feet self, from me. Oh, it's from you. Thing. Yeah, it's oh, so from me in a fifteen foot cube. A cube. Okay, so you, well, you can put yourself in the cube then. Yeah. 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 Okay. You may not even hit Grog necessarily. Yeah, fifteen foot radius. You better. You can do it in a way where it doesn't hit Grog, it just hits the other guy. That'll be nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll let you do that. See so you <clears throat> outsides of you. Um, all right, so it's a constitution saving throw for both of them, right? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, shit, yeah. All right. That's... <laughs> you oh, don't know. Uh, second one does save. First one does not. Well, the natural 20 on its saving throw. The first one, oh, shit. well, a five. So, plus five still What did the second one roll? The natural 20, oh, plus five. Oh, fuck, okay. Yeah. yeah, that does. <laughs> so, uh, they both take three, <laughs> no. Two, three, four D8 damage, and the one who didn't make his save gets pushed away, but he's right up against the wall. Wall, since there's anything. However, it's thunder damage, which they are vulnerable to, so they take double damage from this. Double damage? Yeah. So go ahead and roll the dice. Four D8. You watch as the, as the blast you. of thunder energy slams outward, both of them, you watch as their bodies are thrown into the rock behind them. Terrible. Oh. 12 points. 12 points? 24. 24. So, Ooh. all right. That was shit. That was, that was, that was, Sorry, man. 
I was subpar. <clears throat> That's okay. So both of them get hit and thrown back, slam into the into the wall, and you watch as their body is unable to earth glide based on the force of impact, so it actually causes part of their body to crack uh, intrinsically, and they both fall back to the ground and their feet kind of sink into the stone about an inch or two, and they've repositioned their stance. Okay. All right. Oh. Anything else oh, you want to do? and then, well, shit, if I move away, he's going to take a swing at me, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. But that would be wise. Your call. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I'll just uh, shelter in place. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then it's going to turn. Now it's their turn. All right. They're going to come out asking for help because they've been. <laughs> We've been stuck in his digestive We're tract. We're just slaughtering them. <laughs> like, I didn't even say anything or do anything to you guys. I'm going to say I need, first off, I need Keyleth, uh, Vax, sorry, Keyleth, Vex, and Percival to make a dexterity saving throw, please. Oh, shit, all right. Natural 20. Nice. Keyleth. Ah, I was so close to being a natural 20. Not natural 20, but a 20 nonetheless. Okay. okay. Uh huh. <laughs> Would you get I'm Keyleth? forever dexterous. Infinity? 12. Alrighty. Oh, no. Ah, bye. Oh, you're stuck in the ground? What? No. No! Uh-huh. <gasps> the what? ground like raised up? Did they turn us to stone? No. What did they do? Keyleth, uh, you, you all of a sudden watch as the one behind you uh, that is barely holding on, it angrily goes, <laughs> slams its fist into the ground, and from the sudden vibration, the earth seems to rise up underneath and attempt to swallow you. Uh, both uh, Vex and Percival, you both grab each other's hands and leap into the air, and it just passes under your feet. However, Keyleth is not fast enough. <laughs> yep, and gets swallowed as it closes up <laughs> around her, and now there's a giant pile of earth and rock where Keyleth is buried within, restrained. Yeah. You both manage to move out of the way. Vax sees that and is not worried. Right. <laughs> Cold hearted, man. Cold hearted. Uh, She's fine. She's fine. She's killing this stuff. This guy's going to move up there. And this guy's gonna move up here. Very delight. Uh, this guy's gonna go ahead and attempt to pummel the shit out of Scanlan. He's gonna make two slam attacks against you. Boom. That is a 20. Yeah. And a 21. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. You take 16 points of bludgeoning damage. Mm-hmm. And uh, 17 points of bludgeoning damage. Ooh. Ooh. And you watch as it shit. <gasps> slips into the wall and vanishes. Okay. Dang it. Um, you can make an attack opportunity against it. However, I am giving it three quarters cover as it pulls just under melee range and is mostly within the wall. So it gets plus five to armor class. I will swing my sword at it Ooh. with advantage because I'm in, I just inspired someone. Oh and yeah, Carver that's true. Nice. Yeah. yeah. The first one was better. Seventeen plus ten. Ooh. And that actually hits. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Carver, get you some action once every two years. <laughs> we did the voice of David Bowie. Uh, okay, I, I actually don't know. So it's, it says it's it's a plus three longsword. Does that mean it's one d eight plus three? Uh, one d eight plus plus three plus, plus your strength my modifier. Strength, so it's one d eight plus four, and then. Last month of our campaign, and yep. Sam doesn't. Know I rolled a one, <laughs> and then uh, so oh. that's five, five. But it also says eh, somewhere in here deals an additional one d six force damage. Ooh. Oh yeah, one. Also, <laughs> <laughs> hey, six three points of damage. <laughs> uh, roll two ones it vanishes oh somewhere God. inside oh. the wall. You're not entirely sure where. Um, <laughs> two attacks on you, Percival. Yep. That is a 28. Oh my god. And a 19. Yeah. Both? Yeah. <laughs> Dang. Dang. Right. Dang, first. Uh, 16 points of bludgeoning damage. 16? Yep. And. Uh, oh shit! 15 points of bludgeoning damage. Shit. Okay. What? On a retreating enemy, I get to cast a spell. Yeah, Warcaster. Uh, Warcaster. Yeah, yeah. Well, next time. Next, next time. time. <laughs> Sorry, we got to see a rare sword. That's yeah. irritating. <laughs> That's against you and against uh, Vax. That is a 22. Um. Oh wait, that's fight. Hold Save on. Save a spell slot. Uh, yes, it hits me. And twenty-one. It, uh, my armor class is twenty-one. So, so. let me see. All right, Same. you take uh, fourteen points of bludgeoning damage. 
and another 14 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh. <laughs> Poop. And then both of these guys. Do we get an attack opportunity? You do. Fuck uh, it. With the plus five theory. So this guy sinks into the ground. Do I, can we shoot him with the arrow as he sinks uh, into the ground? No, it's no. attack. So I'm going to take a swing. All right. Uh, that ooh, hits. Ooh. Actually, I, I crit only with my guns on a 19, right? I don't quit crit with my sword. Uh, no, the. Did we get a light solution already? No, I'm, throwing out, I, I'm pretty no. sure you crit on a 19 or 20 regardless. This is kind of the oh, okay. scenario, yeah, but the yeah, hemorrhaging yeah. shot element doesn't happen. The hemorraging shot obviously doesn't happen even though Correct. it's a magic. That's fine. Hemorrhaging shot? So I'll take I'll take my I crit. Have so we ever seen that? Uh that's a uh that's a like a ridiculous thing to hit. That's a yeah, uh, 29 32 to hit. Yeah, that hits. So that's uh uh 1d8. Plus 2 plus 7. And it's silvered, if that matters. So um, yeah, it's, uh, 14, that's 16 points of piercing damage. So, uh, silvered, All right. so. Cool. So you strike out as it disappears into the wall and vanishes. Sword made of silver? This guy here it's shifts it's into got, the wall. It's got well. silver he on it. He vanished. Well, he's all into vanishing. the wall. Well, not this guy. There's still one. Well, good. Maybe they're running away. And, and the guy who's right away. there is going to go ahead and take two strikes at you, Grog. Go oh, bring it. Um, they both hit. <laughs> they're reckless. Yep. Yep, and uh, the other attack is. Yep, both hit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's. 16 points of bludgeoning damage reduced to 8. Okay. And 12 points of bludgeoning damage reduced to 6. 6. Can I take my retaliation strike against oh, him? You can. Oh, shit. Lovely. Reckless Great Weapon Master. <laughs> Come on. Natural 20! Hey! Oh, Turn him sucked. into paste. Squish him! Adobe. Okay. Make a building out of them. I don't I'm know. Doing it. Oh, oh, I re-roll ones and twos. Right. Eleven. That's better. Right. <laughs> so, so you get all sorts of bonuses because that's crit. Thirty-six. Forty-two. Forty-two. Now I've got David Bowie in my head. Forty-eight. Forty-eight points. Forty-eight. 48. Oh, 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 wait. Oh, oh, the product. Fifty-two. Uh, Is that double? Then you doubled everything and took yeah. your extra, yeah. extra oh, crit. Snap. I've been practicing. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> as it as it slams with both fists into you with one giant whoosh over the head, as it impacts you, you grab with one hand the back of its fist and grin, and then bring the axe straight up into its torso with one hand. Whoosh, it strikes and splits open part of its rock chest, oh. and you hear this, which it reforms again. But still, it's taken the, the, the brunt of the impact. Ooh, uh, and it's going. It's now going to shift into the wall, Damn it. Um, which you can't attack because you already used your reaction. Right. Um, that ends their turn. Keyleth, you're up. Oh. You're currently buried. You're blinded. OK. I am <laughs> going to concentrate for a second and then go Earth Elemental. OK. And now that I'm Earth Elemental, I have Tremor Sense. Can I sense where these other motherfuckers are? Uh, you can feel where they are, yeah. You can sense yeah. them moving through the ground. So um, you are. Oh, shit. Oh. Everybody dead. Everybody dead. But I want to be underground. <laughs> I'm there, but I'm still underground right now. Right, but I'm marking your, your place. Yeah, 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 yeah. Underground. Oh. <laughs> Put on your earth light <laughs> shoes and dance. Um, okay, I want to go right in the center of as many of them as I can hit and take a cue from Scanlan and do a. Thunder wave underground. As your earth elemental, because you have. Because I can cast in wild shape now. He's going to the phone. Oh shit! It's Checking only his text. forever. So if they're Not healing, when we hit them. Do you think they're healing when they go back in the wall? Probably. No. They see here real fast. There's they're going to be gone in a couple. Couple seconds. What right. is? I don't know what I'm writing. But let's see. Thunder wave. What are the components of thunder wave? I will look for you. Thunder wave is verbal and somatic, right? The only, the only. V S. Correct. Dude, that is a badass. <laughs> Which I mean, makes making sure because there, there is a slight limitation to druid spellcasting in beast form. You're probably still good, good. but not I using awesome. material components. Is he even bigger? Is he bigger? Let me than see. Yeah. He got bigger. No, that's me. That's, <laughs> that's me, baby. That's me. Should have seen the green. <laughs> yeah, verbal and somatic. So you can do that. Yeah. I'm All gonna right. do it at their level too. Um, 15 foot cube. The most guys you could hit would be 
probably these two here clustered together. Otherwise, everyone else is just a one hit. It's a, it's a 15 out. foot radius <clears throat> from you. It's a 15 foot cube originating from you. Meaning it's a it's a fifteen oh, it's not a radial thing I it's it was, it's a it's like oh, a oh like a boom <laughs> yeah. oh cool mm-hmm. got it got it got it then I'll take those two dudes okay. so that's why Vax's feathers were prickling me so, so you <laughs> you shift through over here beneath the ground that's so cool oh yeah cool. Um, underground look how much bigger she is than oh, those books mm-hmm. it's not a great roll but it's it'll do it's a great many man. you get to re-roll yeah. one that was a gift from one Earth, right? was, was it yeah. Yeah. what. It's a many is awesome. 13 and a 17. So neither make their save. Uh, so Yay. that is uh, 16 times 2. So 32 two. damage yeah. to uh, both of them. 32 yes. points yes. of damage to both of them. Do they make saves? No. No. So they get pushed. And as they well. also get pushed 10 feet. Yeah. Well, you get pushed if they weren't like in the middle of mm. the, the rock. Yeah, they glide on their sure. own. Sure. Sure. Stay put. Badly. Sure. sure. Mm. We only have breakfast. Oh, all right, so as you outward, uh, you you send the shockwave, and you guys hear this loud, thunderous <laughs> beneath the ground. You watch as rock and dirt is thrown from this wall. Poor Trinket is like spattered oh, with rock and, and dirt and spins around. <laughs> you okay, you okay. Um, that wall is not looking very sturdy right now. The thunder wave has structurally damaged this whole portion of the cavern right now. Thanks, Keyleth. <laughs> this whole thing was coming apart. <laughs> uh, so that ends Keyleth's turn. Pike's up. Okay. What, what about we... between Grog and Scanlan? That way, if it comes, if one get, comes get... out by either of them, she's there. Okay, get Trinket away from that wall. Well, I would if if it was Trinket's turn. Yeah. Um, mm. Pike's gonna run down and stand between Scanlan and Grog. All right. Oh, Grog. And punch the mace and light that shit up. Yeah. <laughs> Blow hair out of her face. So yeah, so Grace is like a beacon of light. And then she's gonna hold her action until uh, a thing appears. What is she holding? A, like attack. So one of them, yeah, physical an attack. attack. Yeah, a physical, physical attack. attack. So as soon as one appears, she's just gonna swing. At it, yeah. Okay, yeah. good. So she's holding that. That ends Pike's yeah. turn. Top of the round, Percival, you're up. Um, I'm going to. No bonus action. Uh, what? <laughs> well, I'm going to use my bonus action. I'm going to uh, kind of, since there's nothing to attack at the moment. Uh, I'm going to move to uh, slightly to the other end of that little precipice that I'm on, uh, over where Keyleth disappeared. Oh, over this end? Yeah, just to sort of get away from things. Okay. I'm going to use my bonus action to do a heal. And we came from uh, You guys traveled this way, and this is where you saw this, the right and left split. Oh, right. Um, that was embarrassing. Uh, so that's, yeah, 11 <laughs> points. Okay, that's great. Uh, and then I'm going to hold my uh, attack until something approaches. So. Okay, so you get your weapon ready. You're holding it for any sort of movement out of a wall. Yeah, got, got it. Gun in one hand, sword in the other. All right, got it. Grog, you're up. Why don't we just, don't we just leave? There's no, no, no one here. Let's just go. That's what I'm doing. So there's no enemies in sight? Currently, no. Can I just like run as far as I can this way? Yep. Is that like 5, 10, 15, 20? 5, 10, 15, 20. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 is what you can get right there. I'll take it. All right, so that's your movement. Yep. I'm going to hold my I'm attack gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. until something stupid shows me its face. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. All right, that ends your turn. Uh, Vex. Okay. I'm going to call Trin, get away from the wall. So he's going to run down next to Grog. Okay. And then I'm going to kick off and get on my broom, so I'm off the ground. Okay, so you get up and you're now lifted up in the air mm-hmm. a bit. I'm so far. Are you still blind? No, I can see. Okay. Two lights. Okay. okay. I yeah. believe I can. Then you can what? Fly? Yeah. But Fucking die. I believe I can touch. What is he touch? The sky? The sky. sky. <laughs> you got it, you got it. I think. About it. Uh, <laughs> you hurt yourself. <laughs> Never sing that. Okay. Don't. 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 I know just what you're saying. How high is the ceiling in here? Uh, you are right up against the ceiling. It's about about 12 to 15 feet. Yeah, I only want to be. I just kind of want to hover right in the middle. I don't want to be high up. Okay. I want to be like in between the ceiling and okay. the floor. Okay, so you're about a head's height up. Yeah. Okay. Um. 
And I'm gonna hold my action until I can see one of those things. Arrows not ready to fire. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, that brings us to Vax. Can I uh, move like ten feet, maybe closer yep. to Scanlan, and do the classic Van Dam movement and stand between like stalactites <laughs> in the ceiling and hide time, with time my cop. bonus action? Right here. Yeah, and hide in the ceiling. What? You're gonna time cop that? Oh, are you awesome. doing the splits? Right no, now? I'm just using right? my feet for that. No, my hands are occupied. <laughs> so you are with my Van feet. Van You're doing the Volvo yeah. ad. Make make a self check. Oh, check. Okay. Yeah, baby. Make a split check. Oh my god. And do I still have a uh, sneaky sneak for Has you? Uh, Trace is still. Oh, no. No, it's not no. you. It's Hunter's mark. mark. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, Pike, get out of the way. Um, Don't you talk to her like that. <laughs> 27. Okay. Okay, and I'll hold my attack action. Okay. Yeah. So Scanlan. We're all holding oh, no, our shit. No, what are you going to do? We, but the minute something shows, we're all going to be like, boom! But nothing's going to show. <laughs> nothing's going to show? Um, which way were we going when all this shit happened? We're traveling this way, and this was the the, the split in the path ah. ahead. So we're heading left. Mm-hmm. We're Should we be we're trying to get out of here? That's right. Yeah. Let's, let's get out of here. We don't need yeah. this. By the way, we're supposed to go to the left. Thanks, oh, yeah. Rob. That's right. <laughs> I would have made a run if I'd been thinking about it. What's right? The left. Right. You guys are um, <laughs> I will uh, <laughs> go 25 <laughs> feet the same direction Grog went in. Because that's all I can run. Twenty-five. That'll get you up here next to Percival. Oh, oh no! Oh, right before the end of the story. Five points of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> sorry, first. No, this thing's mean. I'm sorry, to Matt. Us. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go the opposite direction. I don't want to be in this fucking cluster. Okay. It's a mess up there. No, that's just yeah. Terrible. I'm going so, just the opposite direction. We are Down the heroes. There. Yeah. This, this is, is the way we What? From. Yeah. Doesn't yeah. matter, but we're clustered. Yeah. I don't care. I'm getting away from you, fuckers. And, then what and do I'm you do? turning invisible. <laughs> <laughs> They come Pee? out. Peace. <laughs> the question is, should you turn oh, invisible and then sense. run? Yeah, you can still <laughs> sense you. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, I don't know these well, things. I just use that. <laughs> we don't know that you even got sucked under. And if well, you attack, your invisibility drops. You're just a wee I'm small bar oh, 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 You got a fucking it's it's That's so cool. Yeah. You got an invisible woman mini. Uh, All right. That so. is my daughter's miniature. That is rad. <laughs> and as bonus action, I will healing word myself. I have the healing word first. Huh? Uh, oh, so do that you, first. Because you will. cast the spell, you lose invisibility. So I would do it first. Yeah. All okay. Right. We'll do that. First. All right. That ends Scanlan's turn. Okay. All right. Oh shit. Seven oh, more points. Shit. Here it comes. First off, let's see. Deuce is wild. <laughs> Light him up. This one is going to stars. emerge from under the ground. Do I get an attack of opportunity? Hold on. Oh. Uh, you do not, because what's the range on your fists? Fifty feet. Ten feet. If it's a ten-foot range in the elemental, then you would. But seventy feet. It doesn't say. How do you know? I mean, you're big. Under the it slam attack, it should say yeah, range five foot. No. Attack. What does no. it say? No. It doesn't. No. Damn it. Kate. Okay then. I just don't. I just Hold don't. I just <laughs> don't. Okay. No, reach ten feet. That, it does say that's reach ten feet. That's, that's what I was asking for. Yes. Yes. I didn't know. So you do. I was so looking you can for use your reaction to use attack opportunity on it. Okay. 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 Yes. As he rushes, as he glides away from you and underneath, you get one swing at him. He gets a plus five to his AC. Oh, that's good, that's Actually, good. no, he wouldn't because he ever. Twenty-one. Twenty-one hits. Go to roll damage with the, with the fist. Show him. Does he just <laughs> slam him with a stone one? <laughs> I love that you're like actually being a badass where no one can see. Uh, uh, fifteen. Set him at fifteen. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you slam it. Your fist, they just gliding through the rock like it was. Air and slamming into the side, pushing it even further forward. It swoops underneath, and with a giant uppercut as it emerges from the ground, the earth swings up to try and consume both Grog and Trinket. I need you both to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, no. Trinket and Grog. Oh no! Danger sense! Oh, oh no, we rolled a one! <laughs> oh no, uh, this was a fan gift. 15. 15. Both of you. Your vision goes dark as the earth rises up to consume the space around you. Both Grog and Trinket are currently restrained and blinded within the earth. Is Trinket right next to Grog at least? Uh, Yeah, they're within a close area. Can you make him feel comfortable? Oh! It's too late for that. I would say so. The actions already have. Uh, If you want to, you can. 
It's worth it for it. 18. 18. All right, you just <gasps> barely managed to. Oh! Oh! So, so as 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 the ground as the rock comes up to consume you, it it covers over both of you, and there's a brief moment of silence before Grog just bursts out and steps up onto the stone, um, unaffected by the impact, um, and that's that's his, that's his full speed, so it, it can't earth glide again. Um, this one here is going to scoot and appear right around the edge uh, on that side. That's and in is, range for me. Uh, it is yes. And me. Roll perception check. Yeah, that's the thing. Twenty-four. Uh, that hits, and it does hit. Uh, and you do manage Twenty-six. To All right, that does uh, manage. You do see it, so you okay. can't feel it. Yeah, sorry, I got a notification on my iPad that went like, no music. <laughs> Am I effectively sneak attacking the fool? Uh, no. No. All right. Uh, strange. The tremor sense. Ah, uh, cool. As you put your feet against the stalagmites, uh, sharpshooter seems to know where you are. The first one definitely hits. The second right. one is 18. That hits. Awesome. Twenty-eight and twenty-six are for you me. Are fucking kidding me? So 18. He's not hunter's marked. Twenty-four. Plus nine is twenty-seven. Thirty-eight combined for my two. Thirty-eight combined for two. My paladin attacks. Twenty-seven combined. Damn My two, yeah. Okay. As you both, as it emerges from behind, you watch as it brings back its, both of its fists to attempt to slam into the ground where Scanlan is currently standing. Seeming that. Can't see me. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> His heavy footfalls still touching and moving the earth in the vicinity. Its tremor sense still notifying of it. It's your base location. As it goes to swing with both its fists. I'm just like um. mocking him. <laughs> <laughs> A flurry of daggers and arrows go flying through the air, whoosh, slamming into it. Before its fist can come down, its chest is just detonated from the impact. Oh, the oh. rock and shale scattering against the sides of the wall. Its form destroyed and scattered. Oh, wow. That was a pretty fucking killer twin moment. Yeah, right that was. I was going to ask when the uh, uh, creepy grok guy popped up near me. Is he within like my uh, held action? Unfortunately, no. He's about ten feet from you. He hid in space because uh, Bear was closer to him. I just stared at him. Yes, you do. <laughs> Barely. Uh, this fellow here emerges right behind Percival. Pip, pip, the rock day. there, And is going to attempt to make two swing attacks at I you. I take two attacks on him before anything happens Ooh, anyway. Oh, mm-hmm. shit. So, go for it. He's a little drunk. He's got Fire a fight. soldier lane going on. Yeah, he's like, what is uh, That's so a. Uh, is this with your gun? <laughs> No, this is sword. Yeah, okay. oh, that's too close. Yeah. I knew, I knew, that, I knew they would jump. So, uh, that's twenty, uh, twenty-two and uh, twenty-four. Both hit. Both hit. Uh, you're at, I you're need most, more coffee. You're at your most dashing when you use your sword. Yeah, yeah. 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 coffee. I need coffee. Uh, that's uh, fourteen. <laughs> Twenty-six points of damage. <laughs> All right. Dragon one's gone. Oh wait. Uh, I get three attacks, don't I? That's right. Yeah. No, one more. Fire, dude. That's right. Twenty-six points of damage plus. Oh yeah, that definitely hits. Yes. Crybazzle, uh, so plus uh, eight more points of damage. Crybazzle, All righty. So as it emerges from the wall, coming towards you, you just do this triple strike against it, and it manages to carve across part of its chest. But its momentum is still strong, and both fists come to the side to hit you and to rattle you from both sides. That is a. Sixteen? Nope. This is and a twenty-four. And that hits. So you ah, cool. managed to deflect one blow. That one clocks you on the side of the head. Uh, that is uh, eleven points of bludgeoning damage. Yeah, okay. All right. And now uh, all the feeling I just did. So now this fella here this is going to swoop over ah. and slam the ground near Pike. Pike. Oh, good. Wait, she can attack him. Oh, she can attack him if he's right there. Uh, the Other range attack. on this is a ten by ten foot cube, oh. so he's going to do it before he gets within melee range. Okay, of her. she's right there. So as it glides towards her, it slams the ground, and the earth is going to attempt to consume her. She needs oh, to make a dexterity saving. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Okay, you do it. I should not have claimed high. this. With bad dice. Shut up. Mm. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. <laughs> we don't. Uh, have it is a, a big seven. No. no. And with that, the ground consumes now Pike, who is now currently God damn it. buried. No. 
and oh. blinded. Sorry, Ashley. She was sick. Restrained within. Her action, though. Just gonna call it. And with the rest of its movement, we got it. We're gonna get her out. We're gonna get her out. Into the ground. You we'll dick. say. Uh, actually, let's see. Yeah, it'll just sink into the ground, just out of range. God darn it. I'll put it, Fucking I'll put it here just to mention where it is, but consider it's, it's not prone, it's underground. <sighs> um, and I think you're going to die tonight. <laughs> um, <laughs> With such, such dedication. This one here is going to swing gonna forth up out of the right ground. Kidding. Uh, she already took one. Oh, fuck. One reaction. This one actually bursts out of the ground into a leap. Uh, towards you, as it kind of emerges, it looks up and sees you just within its range because it does have a bit of a, a reach, and it leaps to go ahead and make two swings at you. Uh, natural one. Hey. Yay. Uh, you manage to pull back with the broom, and it just goes swings wide. It lands on the ground, so and it's going to attempt to go with another uh -huh. uppercut in your direction. That is a fifteen. It doesn't hit. I just like put my foot on its fist and like. Uh. like <laughs> uh, no effect on that. Uh, awesome. And that's going to end its turn. That was its full move. All right, so that brings us to Keyleth. Okay, uh, do I see Trinket? Underground. Uh, you can sense Trinket is currently buried. Oh, and Ash. Oh, Jesus, that scared the shit out of me. You just said I want coffee, I know, you got coffee. I didn't think anybody was going to do it, really. Oh, my God. <laughs> I want a pony. I want yeah. ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> I want to fly through the air. <laughs> I want that Powerball winning. Oh. Anyone can do it. Ryan Green. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so Keyleth, you, you can sense Trinket is buried over there. And, okay. And, uh, and Pike. And both. Pike is buried. <laughs> do I go for the bear or do I go for the gnome? You go for the gnome. You go for the gnome. Alright, can yeah, I get to I know, Pike I know, in 50 feet? What's your movement? 50 feet wide? Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. You can, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying it's Pike. Yeah. You made the right decision. You can. Decision. And you get right up to, uh, well, not that it's going to take your <sighs> Okay. Can I kind of do I very gen gently grab the gnome and then siege monster poof, okay. bust us out? Make a strength check. I'll give you advantage because you are a siege monster. Because you're a siege, siege monster. monster. Gonna make a strength check. <laughs> I'm a like, siege, siege monster. Is it like reaching into a yeah. sack for you, even though it's the earth? Uh, <laughs> okay. It's like air, he said. I will take hey. that 17, yeah. that is much better oh, yeah, for yeah. a uh, 22. With no issue, you just punch through the mass of rock and earth right there, and you emerge out of it like a Shoryuken, clutching the pike in your left arm as you land back on your elemental feet in that space, freeing both of you. No visual. No. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Oh, it just sounds that. like a concrete mixer. Guns. Oh. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, I believe that ends your turn. I can't do anything else, probably. Yeah, uh, Pike can't, because it's her did, turn. You did yeah. enough. But Pike can, so holding a little little Pike <laughs> like a like a, a voodoo light. doll, like a flashlight. <laughs> yeah. Do things! Do, do things! Do that mean she can still attack? <laughs> she can, yeah. She, she can't can. see anything, though. No, she can now. Uh, Keyleth just pulled her out of the rubble and is holding her in front. Hey, I mean, no, I mean, there's nothing to attack in front of her. What's this uh, thing underground? No, yeah, she's He's under underground. Still. Underground. He's underground. Yeah. So there's two above ground, but they're behind her. Yeah. But I'm uh, holding Pike. Can she see? Can you throw her? But you have to be able. We, we're holding people. a physical action, so you have to like. She Save has to them. be next to something in order to yeah. attack yeah. it. Yeah. Oh. That's she what mine didn't happen either. Yeah. She and can do She can do whatever she wants. It would be an action to chuck her, though, right? Yeah, she already pulled her free yeah, with the yeah, action, yeah, yeah. so. Drop me, drop me, drop me and on the ground! you used all your movement? Did you use all your movement? She did. So you dropped To get there. Well, mm -hmm. actually, you have 10 more feet if you wanted to. Can you get within 10 feet of something? Five feet? No. no, unfortunately, no. I mean, we could just generally drop her where the thing disappeared. It's still a crapshoot, but it's better I mean, than nothing. she's close enough yeah. right now, yeah. yeah. Drop me on the ground, Keyleth. I want to be able to hit it if it comes up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sets. The gnome down on the ground. Okay. And kills turn. Like, now it's Pike's go. She's like, okay, right she end. is going to still just hold her turn. Oh, man. Should she get, but should she do like a cantrip? She should mm. do a resistance or something? She could do it on herself just in case. Yeah, cast resistance on herself. But that's in case an action, it's not save. a bonus. Yeah, action is okay, a instead, ah! she's just going to look at the ground and go, Masa! <laughs> okay. And so hold, hold her action. Yeah. Perfect. Percival, you're up. Top of the round. Um, I'm going to. Pull out the gun and take three shots at that at that thing that's swinging at Vex. Okay, back, back. go for it. Uh, flap, plap, plap, plap. Uh, oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, so that's uh, <laughs> oof, that's close. So that's a nineteen. 
19 hits? Uh, then the rest of them hit two. So okay. it's like 21 and 20. Okay, so that's, uh, let's get some D10s out. I need some more. No, I got enough. Okay. Some D10s and some D6s. Some some so here we go. Look at his that's, so good, but sir, so um, five, six, seven, that's, uh, uh, 12 points of psychic damage. Yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> you're a whoop. I don't know what that was. There is weird uh, at this table. Yeah. Okay, with the, fir- well, the, the first shot, yeah. as you reach over and fire at that one, you hit it. Oh, and well, in that case, I was like, and yeah. then that's just. You, you watch as, as it just scatters into stones across the floor. Oh, okay, I'll just I'll put, the, I'll put the first shot at that then and then just shift the next two to the other yeah. one. They have the same base. Okay, so that's seven points of psychic damage oh, and Lord. 16. Uh, uh, None of us have slept eight, in days. 16, uh, 24, and 36 points of normal damage. That one, yeah. Okay. It's also skittishness because we all know we're all going to die. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, as the second one does blast and it takes a large chunk out of its like torso and side area, um, it still stands there with its angered arms open, ready to swing at whatever comes at it. Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 uh, I'm good. I'm All good. right. That ends Percival's turn. Grog, you're up. <laughs> oh, hey. Can I? Uh, can I run over <laughs> to? <laughs> yep. The thing. Standing yep. above Trinket now. No. <laughs> it's just a pound to earth, right? I don't hear anything or see any fur or claws. Not, not in a rage, no, you don't. Fuck yeah. that shit. I just reckless great weapon master <laughs> attack. Old bony face. Oh, that's terrible. That's better. Thank God for reckless. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Thirty. Minus five, Twenty-five. That is. Yeah. Yes. Thirty, thirty plus thirty-three Please. plus the necrotic damage. Thirty-three. I'm right there. Is there a guy next to you? That's yes. what I'm going to be aiming at. Second attack. Who's the guy doing the lean? All right. He said drunk. He said drunk. They said just a flash. Uh, I can't yeah, exactly. Try. Twenty-six. Percy went right. two weeks. In fact, one. No. <laughs> yeah, it, that's, uh, that's terrible. That's blinking. <laughs> no, that's the double wink. <laughs> I've been 20, 28. Oh, okay. 38. 38, okay. Best. As you stand over Trinket, the first hit cleaves into the center of its that's chest a, and bad. wedges itself there. And you see the rocks kind of like forming over the axe, almost trying to pull it into its body to pull it from your grip. And as you do, instead you reach down and put your foot onto its chest and yank it outward. And as you do, as most of it began to form over the axe, it just bisects it in two and it then crumples into a pile of dirt. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so you you slap 45 feet of movement. movement. Strong job. Work right. Good luck me. Should I run down this tunnel and see what's down here? Yeah. I should. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, no. Uh, He's raging. He doesn't have logic. Whatever uh, you want. This is the. Can I see him from where? Do whatever makes you feel this um, enemy. Uh, yeah, I'd say you can. He's emerged. You can see the movement. I'll back run up here. and join uh, Percy. Okay, so you charge up <laughs> the side, leap onto this platform of, of soft earth and yep. rock, and it's right there next to you. Nice. All right, that ends your turn. Thank you. Uh, Vex. Okay, I'm gonna move my hunter's mark over to that dude. All right. wah, 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 wah. And then I'm gonna attack him with sharpshooter. Did you reduce? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> hunter's mark sounds um, like Sound <laughs> <laughs> or, or rain sticks. Okay. Five, 20? <laughs> 20 hits, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> So weird. <laughs> this is super serious. Give us sleep. Super, super serious. More lightning damage. Like okay. Oh, you don't worry, you'll be sleeping a lot of burning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 10. Yeah, that 25. Uh, 28 for right. the first arrow, plus the four lightning damage. Yeah. And then the second attack is also sharpshooter. And it's, uh, that one hits. Okay. So. Even with minus five? Yes. Okay. Definitely. Um, uh, Sam, when everyone leaves, 14. all their stress will enter you and I. Okay. I'm very excited about that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, six lightning damage. All right. <laughs> it's like, that's 19. absorb our sins. All right. Oh, and I didn't add, so plus 20 to both of those. Like, plus 20 overall because of the sharpshooters. Yep. All right. 10 and 10. So with that, as as you see it like crawling towards Percival, trying to grow and, and leap at it, and Grog leaps up in its way, there's a very little space 
but you don't actually see its movement. Life. And as you as you watch Grog pull back with the axe to almost go for a secondary strike, that brief opening, you see you have both arrows notched and releasing both at the same time. Sick. As it does, it just sinks into both of the sockets oh. where the dark void of where its oh. eyes were, and it just goes and then falls into scattered pieces of rock. Yeah. Yeah. You're welcome. Oh, very nice. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> All righty. Uh, do you want to move or stay where you are? I'm gonna stay. All right, uh, Vax, you're up. All right, Vax. Unless did I wait? What about Trinket? Can he like try to there save against it or? Uh, I could say he have Trinket. We'll say I'll give you an action uh, for Trinket instead of an attack to attempt to break free. So make a strength uh, check. A strength saving throw. Uh, I don't know what the difference for a strength a saving throw for uh, Trinket. I'll strength be. modifier. Okay, fifteen. Fifteen. Unfortunately, cannot break free. It's not <laughs> strong enough. It's too much Can rubble I and too hear much rock. Does he make noise? Uh, you listen. You hear. You hear like the shifting of rock. Oh. That's it. You don't hear any beer. I don't even know it's trinket, do I? Yeah, you don't. <laughs> I aim my bow at you know. it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, Max, what you doing? Uh, I'm gonna fly over and land on Keyleth's shoulder and hold my attack for as soon as uh, the fuck not appears. Okay. Sounds good. Perch. Oh. Big on. <laughs> <laughs> like your own personal raven. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right, any backs to turn scaling, you're up. I will use my insane climbing speed of 10. To climb up that tree like uh, stalag mite. Right? It's mite. Oh, well, this technically is like a root. Right. Mm. And you climb up into it. I climb up that. That's a tree. <laughs> <laughs> and I will. Hold my attack until I see something come out of somewhere. Okay, so your weapons at the ready. My wand of magic missiles. Ooh, is okay, nice. got it. <laughs> Great. Um, all right, so that ends Gallon's turn. At this point, sifting beneath the ground and emerging from behind. That right there behind. She's Pike. attacking him. I see it. I'm throwing. She's, she's attacking. She's attacking him. He's the first. She's going to attack okay, her. But it gets to act first. <laughs> Does so it? No, 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 she gets to act first. It's holding her attack. Oh, so as soon as it emerges. Yeah, yeah. so that's 24 yep. to attack. 24 to attack, yep. that hits. And she will use Divine What's It. Plus Spite? Divine Strike. Strike. She always gets that she always now. Gets that once uh, once around. So that's 2d6 um, plus 4 radiant damage. So 10, 14. Two plus 2d8. And then 2d8 4. I thought that went in the coffee. Oh, I I don't. Should that count? Because it was. Intentionally I didn't uh, intentionally roll. Now put it in again. Do it again. It's not as good as unintentional, but that's okay. okay. So 19. Nine, 19. 19? Yeah. Does she just attack the ones? Yes. Yeah. And okay. if it's still standing, dagger, dagger, dagger. Well, as a. Um, hold on. Let me check one thing more fast as the. As the war cleric. It's a really good should go steal one of the eight yeah. that we have in our office. Yeah, Actually, yeah, this is a, a bonus action to do that, so yeah. Um, I guess that one. <laughs> How does Pike want to do this? Oh! Pike! <laughs> she goes, Grog, watch this! I can't see anything, because oh, I'm pussy's come on, in the you can see your big. Right. Tiny. She does an underswing right up between its legs and oh. hits it in the ghoulies. Yeah. And as she does, the, the, the glowing mace, the, the beacon-like weapon that she wields, just scatters upward, breaking layer after layer of rock and earth, and as it does, its upper torso just explodes into the ceiling. A shower of small pebbles and errant pieces of earth go just smeared across the wall and scatters yeah. to the ground. Untamed monster! Monster! <laughs> She gives it three or four more hits on the ground just out of frustration. Yeah, because she got trapped. Yep. Please <laughs> go rescue. Uh, uh, I go rescue the bear. <laughs> all right, you guys all. Be careful! Work. I think there's another elemental right there. Or are there any more? I think uh, tree gets an elemental. Uh, right. All right. So so as you guys all make your way over to the <sighs> the pile as it's shifting and moving, you all prepare your weaponry for what might emerge. Um. Make a perception check. Oh no. Vex. Oh no, don't you make me attack my own bear. Oh no. Um, 17? That's plenty. Okay. Uh, 
Sure. Now, the three. moment the moment you see you you see some of the movement push through, a claw begins to emerge from it, and your your arrow pulls back, ready to release. And but the, the moment's there, you immediately wonder, like, how could you have made that mistake? Trinket, I run. Let me rush over and begin to help trinket it free. I place my hand yeah. on Simon's shoulder and say, "I'm sorry. I know this is hard for you. The bear yeah. lives." And I say from the top of the tree, I don't know who you're touching, but I'm up on top of a tree. I'm flying. <laughs> Aren't I'm you invisible? invisible? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's a lot That's of rules my dick in this you're game. touching. <laughs> <laughs> Staying on theme for the night. <laughs> uh, yes, I know it lives for now. I was holding my action. I could blast the bear with my wand. Yes, she wouldn't even know where it was coming from. I would see it the minute you attacked. Oh, she's right. <laughs> so with with each now as this battle has transpired, um, in the length of one stride of the Titan, oh my God. as the other footfall lands, oh my God. one portion of the wall begins to like shake and fall in, and this side of the tunnel begins to collapse slightly. Oh, you gotta take Caleb, it. Caleb, go for it. Caleb blocks as much as she can and goes, run. Run. And I think she's so saying run. She so stay as you guys dart down and head left <laughs> into the hallway, uh, actually, your, your earth elemental form allows you, with quite a bit of strength, to kind of force it and prevent it from the, causing the entire tunnel to collapse. Just half of it does. Um, and holding that in space, you guys are going to charge down the left side of the tunnel. Um, As a running, I cast Pass the Trace again. Should okay. I? Sure, yeah. sure. And I really? pat, I pat your, your tremor, big stony though. face I mean, and give like, it a kiss and fly down the other side. Okay, never mind. I don't cast it. <laughs> okay. Um, as you guys continue down the left path for about 50 or so feet, um, it curves rapidly to the left and stops at a cylindrical chamber. Best way to describe it. It, it's still like, like a cavernous space, but it has a cylindrical shape to it. Um, about 40 feet in diameter, about 50 feet tall at its apex. Um, and in the center of it, you see what appears to be a partially collapsed dark stone pavilion or small temple. Um, the bottom in the middle? Uh, you guys turn, and it's it's in the center of this this chamber um, that rises up before you in the center of this small kind of almost egg shaped opening, uh, the space, and you see this 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 made of like a deep dark grayish, almost black stone structure that looks beautifully made. Uh, the craft work is distinctly dwarven. Is it uh, old? Uh, you can go make an investigation check on it if you'd like. I'm gonna do divine sense again. Okay. For undead. <laughs> They're everywhere. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, you do sense. Um, specifically, location. Specifically within the depth, the, like the heart of this structure. Okay. Um, is this. No. This is like. Not mountain. No. This is <laughs> Titan. This is, <laughs> is this favorite this terrain? Should, uh, this would be considered. Technically, it would be subterranean. It would be like an underground. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, not like under Water's dark. Not the under dark. Is no. under dark? Um, the structure, however, is somewhat damaged from a collapse of one side of the wall. You watch it, it looks like part of the, the chamber on the right side has come loose and this rock slide has jammed into the side of the structure. Um, and looking past kind of the craggy piles of loose rock, you can see what looks to be shattered glass across the ground. And part of the rock is the rock slide is pushed into one of these glass panels that marks the exterior of this small the gazebo-like temple structure. Um, it seems to have filled, uh, from what you can see at least at this distance, a portion of the interior of it as well. Uh, there, has, there is a certain, like there's a double door in the front that is currently closed, and the right side of the door is buried partially by the remainder of this rock slide that has come to a halt at the base of the structure. Do we know what gods, dwarves, worshipped? Do they have specific gods? Uh, make a religion check. These are dead dwarves. Yeah, but just... Pike starts whispering, um... I can technically destroy dead things, so if we sneak me up to the outside of the wall, I might just be able to, okay. you know. Um, I mean, I you ran into the Allfather's things. space That's before, sort of but not not every dwarf worships the Allfather. Okay. Um, just like any other free race in the world, religion is up for grabs. Would, would, knowing the history of this city, would we know what this is? Uh, you, you don't know what this is at first glance. Um, the structure, it, it seems ceremonial or at least important. It seems to be placed here with intent away from 
um, a large part of society, or so at least crypt or anything like that, or very expensive crypt. It could be. Could so we does see it, the inside of the gazebo type yeah. structure? Could we get closer to see? How it? big is it, too? Uh, how, how big is it? It's about Guess maybe, it, yeah. I'd say, thirty-five feet wide. Um, it, it almost fills the entirety of the chamber. There's like a slight space behind it, except for the fact that part of the wall collapsed into it and is kind of bearing the right side Can of the structure. Stained glass, colored glass. Uh, looking at the glass, it's multiple colors. It looks to be of stained glass stuff, and it's a thick, it's a thick glass. And there is one intact window of stained glass on the opposite side, and there is the double doors currently that keep it shut. Is there an image on the, the, the stained glass? Is it depicting something? Um, it looks to depict to depict a. Um, a dwarvish-like figure mm. uh, adorned in golden armor that stands at the top of the precipice of a mountain with a series of smaller dwarf-like entities in shadow all around looking up at it. It's very simple um, when you get up close to it, but bet it's a the, the further I back you go, that means it's a beautiful it's trapped. And I bet that means that there's something expensive and interesting inside. DM, question. <laughs> yes, because I, I can't remember ways. for yeah. sure. Wow. Didn't didn't in our story <laughs> somewhere we come up with a solution for Pike's noisiness, something that quieted her down? Yeah, she boots. had stealth boots. Yes, she there were boots that gave they gave her advantage design. on stealth. Yeah, we which meant that she her. just made a regular roll. Regular roll. First regular roll. Yes. Yeah. We made her that armor that we never went back and picked up. Yeah, but it doesn't matter because she's got the the dawn marker. Plate of the dawn yeah. marker. Okay. So, she cast guidance on herself to help with that roll. I'm I'm with you. I think this thing has a, a yield. Yeah, I'm feeling it. Break all the glass. Um, Go inside. It, I, I touch the ground, still in my earth elemental form. Do I sense anything? Tremor sense? Any vibrations? Uh, you feel for it. Nothing in the immediate vicinity. Can you However, search? another footfall hits from the Titan, and it causes the entirety of the chamber to quake, and it's almost like, you know, when Superman opens up his perception too wide and hears all the voices? Yeah. Everything around you shakes with such a, an intense, uh, like, veracity. It causes yeah. your head to shake briefly. <laughs> I have, a, I have another DM question <laughs> yes. for Paladins. Until the end of your next turn, you know the location of any undead within 60 feet, so that kind of implies number. If Correct. I know the location of any, so how yep. many am I sensing? In one. One. <laughs> okay. Do you know yeah. where? Can you sense where it is? To I the center of this center. structure. All right, let's do this. Oh, okay. You want to fight it? I bet there's something really nice inside. Also, I mean, if Pike can get up and get a peek in, she could she just, just take a first stab. shot at turning, turning it, turn, stay turned. So they're they're <laughs> they're the double doors, and then it's a, like a cave in on one side. On one side, and it it's broken one of two sets of stained glass on the front of it, and it seems to have filled part of the interior. Um, currently, you, there isn't enough space in that window to climb in because mm -hmm. it's just filled with rock. You could try and move stuff out of the way. Or go through the doors, or break the other window. Those are the only types of entrance. You and can there's find. no other exit from this cylindrical chamber. This is like. That you see now. Okay. I wonder what's all if, the other way. I wonder if getting Pike on the the broom or the rug could improve her chances of sneaking up to the door as well and get a peek in and just uh, try to turn. I mean, we inside. can try it. I'll put, put Pike. I'll put. Yeah. I'll put Pike on the broom. Okay. And then we'll fly over to the side of like the like the cave in. I mean, can you, I like, can just earth glide under and course, like how many times can peek up. Yeah, but she yeah. can turn undead. So that's. But how many times can she do that in a day? Uh, is it a pull the trigger in once? Do we want to waste it on something? We I think as an action. Unlimited. As an yeah. action. Okay, it's an action. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you're just you're you're just. It's not a one. Is it a spell? No. 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 It's. I mean, it's, it could it's be just an just undead. She can do. Yeah. Yeah. The channel divinity is it? Yeah. Channel divinity. It's just it just works. Okay. It's oh wait, you can use your channel divinity twice between rests. Okay, so she got she one, can, one she, she can do that. She's got a couple other things oh, she can yeah. do between with this. And she is she 18th rest. level? She's 18th level. Oh, now she can do it three times between rests. It's worth a shot because we could one shot okay. a thing. She's, she's 17th right now. She's 17. Oh, no, she just I think she just leveled up. I'll double check. Pretty no, sure no, because you just hit 18. Sure. I just did. Yeah. So sure. she's still 17. Right. She's it's still 17. Possible one shot. Might just be not. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Okay. Let's do it. Double yeah. check. Right. Probably is. It's just undead now. So we should try to get her in and, uh, and turn and turn him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah let's do that. Just the ranger and the cleric. Or to cut he down is totally encased by the material, and if we unearth him, it could be bad. Yeah. Or he's unearthed and just yeah, he could be like Especially locking up. Let sleeping dogs lie. Yeah. 
Percy yeah. really wants to find treasure. Well, which is always a bad sign, but there it is. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's in let's what it. realm of possibility are we not going into this thing? Well, we could of just turn around and walk in. away and no. go try to find our no, way up to the city. Have we ever done that? Go check that door before I do. <laughs> all right, all right. We're doing it. You guys go. Check the traps. Everybody hang back. Uh, yeah, do I spot anything? Here comes the roll. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to cast Pass my... Without a Trace on us now. I'm keeping my distance and pulling out the rifle, and I'm going to, if anything needs shooting, I'm going to shoot it. I'm going to be with them okay. by this door. So you, uh, checking for traps, investigation, right? Okay. 20. All right, so 20. As you go push the door, and at a 20, you look around and you can see the uh, the door before you. Um, it's partially buried, and it isn't locked, but you can see um, there are some runic carvings along the perimeter of the doorway, um, similar to what you saw earlier on pieces of stone when you first entered. Mm -hmm. um, and there are signs of forced entry. It looks like there are parts of the stone that have been chipped, familiar to you from people that uh, use crowbars or other materials to break into entry places. So. Um, it looks like there have been signs of forced entry in the past. However, there's still a undead thing inside. Yeah, that could just be a fight. But no try. I don't down. find any traps. It could just be a fight any traps in the to burnout. take away our stuff, stuff before we go to a bigger fight. Correct. Uh, all you find is, is the, d the, the door on the left appears rest, to be though. unlocked, and you could possibly push it open, and you see the, uh, the dwarven really writing on the outside of the wall. Oh, come on. Yeah, come on. Let's we're running it. out of time. Fuck. What are we fucking pretending? Come on. It's very fun. Can we see, can, well, can Pike, can I see into the hovel? If you want to push the door open and have her look inside? Oh, it's closed. The door, the door is closed. closed. You can just see, like, yeah. it looks no, like. No, no, hold on, yeah. hold on. There are runes of which I can read. Oh, five minutes go by. And? Well, fucking don't knock it, all right? Just yeah. be grateful. <laughs> can I try to take a look at the door? You may. Yeah. Uh, it takes you roughly. Fifteen or so minutes. Oh, oh my god! Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Oh, I cannot wait now. for fifteen minutes. Oh, can we take a short rest? <laughs> yeah, the wings vanish. <laughs> you can take a short rest if you guys would like to. While he's doing that. From Professor X. Yes. It'll take yeah. a while, so it means you lose your visibility. I mean, might as well. All right, so you guys can take your hit dice as a short rest. You get oh, your form reverts. Um, which, 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 if you wanted to try and peek within, you couldn't anyway because it's worked stone and you can't fly through that. So as you, the, the words you pull out from this are the last king, stalwart warrior of our mountain secrets. His might unmatched, his will unbroken, his passing invites the madness. Shit, okay, all right. It's been worth the wait. It is the last king. There's like a secret buried with him and his death brought on the madness. So like, there's definitely treasure with him down there. Unless it's already been raided. I think he's still in there and has maybe been like turning people mad. That would be my the guess. Last king. There's a king in there? What, say yep. it again? King the of the dwarves. He's the last king. There's I'm like, the, king the secret dwarf. is with. Stalwart warrior of our mountain secrets. The mountain dwarf. Okay. Stalwart warrior you know, of our mountain, mountain secrets. secrets. Yeah. When I'm turning oh, undead, oh. if they're like, Little piddly guys, they kind of blow up, but if he's a king, he might not blow up. Okay, then we can... So he might get scared of me or nothing. I don't know. Kill 19 points. <laughs> Double pike is the best <laughs> pike. <laughs> Rog, you, you don't get to really... short rest, unfortunately. Never mind. Because you're studying. Thank you. Um, I'm working real hard. Yeah. Hey, for hit point counts here, yeah. I was. I'm, I'm under the impression that we had some like bonus hit points from some okay. speech or we something. Do. You, you yeah. do, have an do we heal those as well? No. Yes. Oh, you do. Yeah, yeah. it's it's plus eighteen to your maximum hit points. Yeah. But no, that, no, no, no. That's that's from Heroes Feast. But which you did not do. You did not do. Oh. From your. I'm sorry. Yeah. So it's just temporary hit. It's points. It's temporary hit points from your speech. Yeah. Uh, but those you do not still. Come back. But but you, that you don't get back. Yeah, 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 Correct. Get back. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. They go. They go. Then, yeah. What do you think? Should we dig him up or move on? There we go. Time is of the essence. When time's of the essence, he could have something useful. It seems like kind of a coin flip. Let's just fucking. I don't know. It says he has a secret with him. Right? Let's go. Like Let's do it. A, a prize. It, yeah, all it says is stalwart warrior of our mountain secrets. Oh, mountain yeah. A stalwart of our mountain secrets. That's you, tempting, Liam said. You should. 
open the door. Yeah, of course. You should open the door. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so I mean, we are we are nasty enough that we have to put this thing down. Pickle. Put this thing down. Are you ready to go? Yeah. <laughs> That's oh, good. You there? Yeah. Okay. Because. I'm going to try to open it as soon as possible. Make a strength check. Strength check? It's a heavy stone door. <laughs> Good yeah. grief. It's partially buried in rubble. It's not locked, but it is somewhat. 16. 16? Yeah. Um, for you? Is Pike helping? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Good Have Pike run his roll as well. Her strength is 19, so it's plus four to what she rolls. Uh, 16. 16. <laughs> okay. You both. <laughs> It shifts like a quarter inch and then locks into place from something. to see in. No. The doors are about that thick. Can so I, it just can I, do you yeah. mind? Please. Please. And I walk up and just fucking hammer oh, that no. shit. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 it goes like this. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, go ahead and roll an attack. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Double damage. Yeah. I mean, as soon as Pike sees him flex, she's got her hands like, Ready outstretched to turn at the door. Seven, seventeen. All right, so go ahead and roll damage. We'll say, we'll say, one d four for your fists plus your strength modifier. Two, yeah. ten. Ten. So that's twenty points of damage, because it's double. As you slam your fist into the stone door, the door <laughs> cracks and part of it kind of splinters and falls, <laughs> kind of toppling past your shoulders and kind of bouncing the head a bit. Um, the door has suffered severe damage and probably wouldn't sustain another blow. I mean, Go we ahead. already started yeah. it. I mean, you're, we're here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll attack again. That is a 15. 15, yeah, that's enough, that's just enough. You slam a second time, you don't have to roll damage, even with the additional modifier, it's enough. The door just <laughs> crumples inward and falls inside the actual chamber as your fist just turns it to, to shattered rock and dust. Um, Can Pike see undead in there? Uh, make a perception check. I'll For make Pike. a perception check, too. I'm in the doorway. Uh, uh, so we are all What's 11? Yeah, 20. 20. Okay, yeah, glance. 20. Okay, as you guys glance inside briefly, this, like, Ten foot wide. Oh, it's actually even like a like a six foot wide door side on this point. Um, glancing inside, it's a another circular chamber that is like an outer hallway, maybe five feet wide, six feet wide, and an interior chamber looks like a smaller cylinder on the inside that is currently locked. You don't see anything within there. You see to the right immediately. The rock slide has filled most of the chamber and uh, comes to rest just on about the corner of what looks to be a single large brass door that is built. Like, like brass bronze, like a, like a dark, rusted, I don't say rusted, but like a, a, a an antique bronze door that's pushed into this central chamber about 15 feet wide. Back catches Pike's shoulder. Hold on, let me look. Let me look. Um, you glance off to your left and you can see along the other side, uh, there are five pedestals that kind of curve around this side, each containing a stone box about that big on each pedestal. What? Um, but other than that, in the ground, Let's you. Make a deal. Otherwise, oh, all no. all around the ground here, all you see are, are broken rocks and shattered statue bits from the rock slide that kind of pushed it inside, and um, it's the, the yeah, it's it's just kind of a, a mess across the ground from the impact of the rock slide. Oh, no. So, what do you guys do? Can I'm we see checking any, the box for traps. Anything and that door. points to what deity it is from inside the chamber? Can we see anything? Uh, glancing around. I uh, can't make another religion check on one you've already failed. Oh yeah, no. So yeah, so you don't you don't see anything that comes across as religious what about iconography. Pike, though, because she's kind of looking in. Sure, make a religion check for Pike. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. I feel Plus you. seven. Thirteen. Thirteen. No religious iconography seems to catch her attention. What'd you roll for? Uh, Nineteen for the investigation. For trip. Nineteen for the oh, investigation. Door boxes. Okay. Um, glancing at the first box, it does not appear to be locked. Does appear to be trapped. Okay. Here we go. All right. You're gonna try to undo the trap. Trap. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So go ahead and make a roll using your dexterity and your proficiency. Deep stool. Yeah. That's fine. Can uh, we clear out of here while you work oh, on I'm this bomb? Yeah. We're all gonna get out of the chamber. Okay. So yeah. you all cleared out of the chamber. Thirty. Thirty. Okay. You find that there's actually a, a pressure cartridge at the very top of the box. So you slip your dagger in. So it, it remains uh, depressed. As you lift the lid, you put your thumb over it and hold it. Trap never triggers. Looking inside, it's empty. Back. No problem. Okay. Just 
go down the line. All right. Investigation check on the next one. Five of them on pedestals. Oh, 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 oh. Luck. Yeah. Okay, good. Oof. Oh, yeah. That was uh, a little bit <laughs> That's a 29. 129? With a lock. Okay, this one is not locked, it's trapped. Yeah, okay, here we go. That's fine, that's a 27. 27, okay. Similar depression thing. Okay. So the dagger, open it up. It's empty. Uh, I did one, two, let's jump to five. Okay, go for it. Okay. What? She does that. She's, Are you she making sure that nothing's invisible in there? She does I, things. I, I, I no. Did I? Are you here? I'm picking the door. Did you whisper to me? <laughs> yeah. Uh, they don't relock when they go. My well, they're not locking. My <laughs> sister's <laughs> hounding me at the door. Right. So I'm gonna go back and twiddle my finger inside the empty boxes. He's, you were shutting. You were shutting them as you went. Yeah, but I can reopen them. They don't relock, do they? It's not they that they were locked. They're but retrap. I mean, they are retrapped. But you've you've already known the traps. Right. So, so I'll go do this inside. Okay. Yeah. Nothing. Just wanted to double check. <laughs> I go to box five. Okay. Is it like one of those Halloween? Um, that's great. Uh, yeah, that things. works. Uh, that was investigation, that just... and that's twenty six. Twenty six. Not locked. Is trapped or not? That is a um, uh, thirty three. Yeah, thirty three. Similar trap setup. Different placement <gasps> of the depression plate on the inside oh. of the box lid. You find it, hold it, open it up, empty. Ah, oh, it's all, it's all empty. Okay. Two, more. Two more. Two more. Two more. <laughs> Let's go to box number three. There's three and four left. Okay. I look you, over at Percy. Don't you have like rubber skills? It makes yeah. me far too uncomfortable how excited you are about this. This could be very good. 18. 18. All right, you check. Uh, it is not locked, it is not trapped. Uh, not trapped. No. Oh, no, you rolled too low. Okay. You lift the lid, uh, putting the dagger where, where the other depressions were. No. Uh, uh, as you pull it back, there's a yeah. of a purplish black yep. uh, cloud of some sort of vapor that immediately just bursts hold into your face. Make a constitution saving throw. Sure. It's okay. He's it, well, it's not okay, but it's just, he's got better constitution. Good. Twenty. Twenty. You manage to just in time, kind of hold your breath, and what bit gets into your lungs, your body instinctually pushes against. Uh, your your semi living form just uh, oh. pushes the toxins from your system. <coughs> uh, you only suffer seventy five. Uh, of no, you only suffer eight points of poison damage. Oh, that ain't nothing. That's good, that's good. Let's do one more. Anything in the box? Right. Yeah, what's yeah, in there? What's in there? Box is empty. Uh, uh, last box. They're all gonna. Be so you're not doing this. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> 19. 19. Not locked, not trapped. Oh, no. Hold your breath. Look at his eyes, look at his eyes! You look don't at his know, eyes. you don't look know, you just gotta go. Yeah, I'm gonna hold you my breath and... Uh, wait, shield your eyes. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Uh-huh. Wait. Need some help in there? Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I take a whisper and I go and throw it at the wall. Okay. So you that throw a whisper and hold the lid up. Yeah. As you as you pull the lid up, <laughs> the same toxic fume uh, emanates from it, but you are not there in the space. Instead, <laughs> appearing right next to the the central, uh, you know, cylindrical uh, oh. platform in the center of the chamber, uh, and look back, and the cloud slowly dissipates around. The lid has now fallen back into place. Oh shit! <laughs> that was hot. Walk that was over hot. to it. Okay. <laughs> well, the lid no, fell the back lid into fell place. Back. Oh, I did that to the top. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you open it up, make a constitution saving throw. Yes! <laughs> As it <laughs> sprays you again. It does it again? Yeah. It, didn't, it didn't expand? No, it does it every These time. These don't. <laughs> For nothing. <laughs> I would have thought there'd be a little they, container that they, was They down reset empty. when they close. It's a little CO2 cartridge. Yeah, you did it. Is there a bunch of gnomes down there? Yeah. It's like a paintball. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's like, it's like there's magic in the world, Leo. <laughs> It allows you to fly oh, 400 man. feet around. I'm just video. gonna take it. A 14. It's not good enough. No, it's not good. Uh, no, actually, 14 is just what you needed. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you you, you resist it again. You still. <laughs> you, <laughs> that is only six points of poison damage. Oh, you spell I'm terrible. I'm fine. I cough. But you resist the, the poison or like from it locking into your system. That's good. The box is empty. So the box so is empty. empty. Was it worth it? What's yeah. in the, What's in the What's in the center? I feel alive. 
of what? Of the room? There's a there's a it's a the, sarcophagus. The, the bronze I think. door. The gift was the adventure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think that's I think that's where the good shit was. I think this was just to take people out. Mm-hmm. You get the sense looking around here, based on the forced entry, that there's probably a good chance that this place had already been pilfered or whatever those boxes contained. Uh, you never mm. know. They could have died trying. <laughs> and then so walked away on yeah, in here, yeah. there's still a sarcophagus. There's a center. There's a center cylinder. There's the rock the slide, the shattered statues across the ground. There's the empty boxes and the pillars, and there's the bronze there doorway. There is an undead thing in here. There though. is an undead thing. Maybe one oh, undead guy got off, stuck in the off. middle. So we should open the bronze door, right? Yeah. You I, know what, Scanlan, you I should probably just bamf inside and see. I could. Do it. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. No, 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 do it. Pipe do it. To the Live. Gang. Well, I'll go inside. Back. I'll open the door. Yeah. The door just opens on its. I mean, like. Well, there's a dead guy. Is it locked? Uh, you go ahead and inspect the Ask door. Your robe, dude. Oh. So oh, as as, oh. as you go and take a moment yeah. and nope. and check the uh, the, the door, uh, oh, no. there is a an, a bronze image, um, faintly carved in, into it, of a stocky dwarven man with a thick beard that touches his toes. It just completely covers the front. Of his body, Ooh, um, he wears style. this plated armor that comes to dangerous, like jagged, curved-up points. As far as dwarves go, this one looks about as unhappy and unapproachable <laughs> as any dwarf you've encountered. You've encountered some pretty gnarly dwarves in your time. Um, so, uh, as you glance down, there does appear to be what looks to be a, a an opening for a key, and there is uh, what looks to be a, a somewhat oval kind of turning mechanism. Pike is prime. Like a vault door almost, like a smaller vault. I'm gonna check the She's tracks. just waiting. Make an investigation check. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think it's 20. 20? Uh, it does not appear to be trapped. Okay. Look at that face. Do you mind if I just give a second opinion? Sure. Yeah. You know, what's what could it hurt? Oh, not that good though. Uh no not no lower than what you were. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. Hey, it's not it's not it's not traps. There's no traps. It's okay, it's okay. You're good now. We need a key though, or a key. It does appear to be locked though. Well, I yeah. have. I pick locks. A. So oh yeah, maybe you should pick the lock. <laughs> we need a key. Let me try mine. No, let's, let's just pick this. <laughs> Natural twenty. Oh. oh. To take the lock. To pick the lock. Okay. I'm not in this room. I'm I'm in the back, ready. Pike is though. She's okay, so you're in for Pike, five minutes. You're in the you're in the back of the room. I'm in the like, right by the door. Outside the door. I'm outside, outside the, door. the door. I'm outside, waiting for a call. I'm right next to him. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, um, so it's a total of what? Total uh, thirty-seven. Oh. <laughs> Eleven, eighteen, rogue. I know. <laughs> we just rolled a natural twenty. Uh, so <laughs> on a on a a lockpick DC of thirty, you manage oh. to somehow find the intricacy of a You've just pissed off a king dwarf. dwarf sarcophagus <laughs> sealed door. Yeah. It takes it takes you a good two to three minutes to carefully find the proper tumblers and hold them without it breaking or ruining the lock. But you manage to. Feel something shift and a slight latch mechanism on the other side go. That was cool. At which point, I whisper. Pike. Started. At which point, the brass dwarf on the front door's jaw goes. Oh no! And pours forth this green fume that fills the entirety of the chamber. Scanlan, Pike. Uh, and Vax, nice. I need you, and because you, you're still in the back I'm of the chamber. The, I'm, I'm like, I'm by the door, though. I was right, I was, but but you're inside. You, yeah, you said you were back to the chamber by the door. It's just up in the outskirt. I need you all to make a Constitution saving throw, please. Oh, it's like yes. we just kept asking for it. I know. Eighteen for me. Okay. Caleb is in the back, just face palming. <laughs> right about now. Nineteen. Okay. Twenty-five. Okay. Seven. Okay. You manage to to shrug off whatever this effect of the fume is, and you all cough for a second as it dissipates. Uh, Scanlan, Percival, and Pike, 
you feel your joints begin to stiffen, you feel your skin begin to tighten, and as you guys try and shift and look around, your whole body moves sluggishly. The outside of your body seems to almost harden and begin to shift in place. Oh, god damn, that's, that's a gnarly poison. You suddenly poison. begin to wonder, those shattered statue pieces in the ground may have been the last tomb robbers who came uh, through here. Oh, no! As you all begin to realize this and the fume begins to slowly fade from the chamber, the rest of you kind of scared to enter, I need you to make another constitution saving throw. Whoa. Um, oh my god. Zero not, not you, Vax, you've already made it, but I need Pike, Percy, and Scanlan to make another. Can, I, can Keel do any type of wind gust to try and push us away to help? If you'd like to. But ahead of time? Yeah, like I well, see. Well, the, the effect has already taken place on them. It's not going to stop it unless they save. But you can try and clear the chamber of the I'll field. go ahead and clear the chamber so they don't have to do this again. All right, so what do you use? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, wind, uh, wind gust. Okay, it's the first Anybody level, right? Any restoration? All right, so you, <laughs> you clear, the fume dissipates out and up into the chamber, and you, you diffuse it enough where the it doesn't seem to have as concentrated an effect. Could you say that Vax saw the look of panic in Pike's eyes and blessed her in a split second? Gust of wind. Second level spell, sorry. Uh, I will say sure. That's I'll gone. let that happen. <laughs> but you won't let me cast greater restoration. <laughs> this is one. Uh, you can if you want to. So constitution. I will cast greater restoration. On yourself? On Pike. On Pike. Okay. As you reach out and cast greater restoration, it infuses Pike's body, and the hardening effect fades. Um, so. But I have to roll constitution, another constitution. You and Percival both. So Pike is? 13. Pike's fine. 13, that's not good. Uh, oh, I'm going to hell. blow a resolve. That'll okay. be fun, because that was bullshit. What was that? A that two. was no, nothing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 18? As, no. as, as Pike's Pike shrugs off the effect and the gust of wind clears the rest of the green fume from the chamber, you all look back and watch as locked in place, frozen stone, Percival and Scanlan now adorn the chamber like decorative statues, locked in an expression of. Pike runs over and casts Greater yeah. Restoration. And I cast Greater, greater on Restoration Scanlan. on. Okay, so mark Percy. off those spells cast yep. for both of you. Okay. What, what and upon touch to each of you, your form <laughs> reverts back in the oh flesh and color returns to your body. Can we please stop robbing tombs and get back to our actual mission? I'm stuck like that. No, you're not. It didn't work. Scanlan. Oh, God. No, you're not. I'll put my finger in his ear. Really? Shit. We just blew those. Can we go? Why? The doors well, the door's open. Okay. Okay. We just doors open. Three, five level spells. And the jaw is uh, it's no not resetting. Deal. Like it's, right. it's it's expended at the time. You don't know how long it'll take for it to reset. Okay. This is this, and you do recognize this is one of those types of, of traps that does reset over time. You just don't know how much time you have. Too bad I didn't recognize the last one. Nope. Yeah. Do we want to open the door? I mean, like, we it's paid open. for it. Yeah. It's open. What's That's inside? Right. Okay. Pickle, <laughs> come on. She gets ready. If Beyond the door, the indeed, you find the tomb of the last king. In this cylindrical chamber with plain stone walls in the center, you see a single, solid marble rectangular sarcophagus with no lid. It is just open before you. Within, you see the mummified skeleton of a dwarf adorned in golden decorative armor, the same shape and design that you saw on the bronze doorway before you entered. An intricate hammer made of jet black metal rests to one side, outside of its grasp, and a beautiful gray leather belt of square opals wraps around the center of its body. At which point, the, head, the skull goes She gets yep. turned yeah. dead. She grabs her holy symbol and flips at the bird and turns him dead. <laughs> Okay. As she holds out the hold the symbol, the might of Saren Ray swells within her and blasts forth in a shockwave of divine energy. And will um that is what's her DC? Wisdom saving throw, DC. Oh shit, oh shit. So many pieces of paper. Uh 18. 18? Uh as the wave blasts past, it sits up, seemingly unaffected oh. by the effect. It it's now. slowly coming, like it looks like it's it's coming to. You have one round. What are you guys doing? One round? Four not in there. No, nope, the rest of you are out. It's the four. It's one round before it seems to be. It's like it's currently sitting up in the sarcophagus. Its arms reaching out for the hammer at its side. Uh, well, I'm gonna fill it with three daggers Go and for it. dump uh, divine smite into the first. All right. Take Pike, weapons. Pike also still has her um, her mace. Mace. Of yeah. Yeah. So she should do that. Okay. Who all, who all, am I in there from the gust? You, no, you guys are still like outside of the chamber. They rushed in after healing each other. So you guys, inside it's a small room. Right now, it's only really room for three people to get in there. Is, can Pike 
doing? Two. What are you doing? I would do it. Pike's going to well, rush in as he's doing that and try to rip the hammer away from the body and, like, run out of the room. Interesting. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, first you do your attack. 32, 19, 32. Uh, the first, the first and the third hit. Okay, first and third hit. Okay, so sneak attack on the first because assassin, and I'm gonna dump a, a anyway, smite yeah. into it. So, uh, three plus eight, uh, uh, three. Oh, no. Let me get the dice first. Three, ten, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-six, forty-one, and the smite is three d eight because it's undead. I said 41, right? 41, 45, 46, uh, 52, doubled is 104, plus plus the psychic damage, 109 for the first attack. So, (laughs) Pike doesn't have much of a fight for the hammer because the you watch as daggers just jam into the ornamental armor, causing it to bend and twist inward, ruining the breastplate, and the undead king just <laughs> falls apart, wow. and before it can sit up, is now s- sitting right back down in the sarcophagus. Like, feathers. Yeah. Feathers. Take feathers. Everything. Feathers. Check for traps, because, you know, yeah, we've been the there. Donnie. Take everything we've and We've been there. Take a spell, take the belt. There's an open How about nobody dies? Bad experience with pulling s- shit out of coffins. A- coffins. Yeah. It really didn't go that poorly last time. I'm gonna check the floor for any pressure plates or anything. All right. Okay, that's a lot. Thirty. Thirty. <laughs> uh, Twenty-two for my investigation. Okay, the sarcophagus itself uh, is not trapped. Yes. Nothing of the accoutrement appear to be trapped. Um, as you're investigating the floor plates. Um, to the immediate right and left of the sarcophagus, to, to where there would be someone would, you know, easily wish to reach in. There are two plates that are trapped. Uh, okay. Ooh. So thanks, we'll just buddy. work from the floor, or from the yeah. from the, the front. Sarcophagus. Yeah, it's a very it's small space. It's meant that if more than one person were to try to, or like if you were to, to fill the chamber, the two sides would trigger. Let's 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 get what we need and get out. Yeah. I'll hop over. Oh no, you can fly over. Okay. Fly yeah. over the uh, and before it resets. Okay. Yeah. The, the bronze plate armor is. Ruined. Um, okay. it, it's do- decorative. It appears yeah. to be more for for visual and presentation than actual function. Um, the, so you grab the, the dark hammer and the belt. Yes. And you pull out of the chamber. The the, uh, the jaw of the open bronze is like slowly. Uh, yeah. Out. 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 You guys exit the chamber. You're now outside of the cylindrical yeah. uh, tomb of the last king. That was a lot of, uh, lot of action. What'd well, you get? Um, we I don't found a hammer, know. Grog. Oh, give me. Is it cursed? Is it cursed? Can we tell if it's cursed? Can we you, tell if it's bad? You, you might identify it. some issues right now if it were cursed. Does anyone have an identify spell? Anybody? She might be able to sense good and evil? No, I don't know. I don't know. Is um, or is that for I creatures? That's for creatures. Yeah. That's for but creatures. It's creatures. Here. Mm, creatures. It's creatures. creatures. Give me. I can look at it and just look at it. I'll look at it. Does yeah. it feel magic? Uh, make an arcana check if you're looking. Sorry. I'm just looking. Look 12. Oh, dear. We <laughs> suck. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's interesting. It's not so much that you can see any sort of, it's pretty, s- there's no runic ornamentation, it seems, on it. Black metal. Um, but right. it's, like a, it's like a deep jet black metal. Um, make a history check. Does it look like the same med- black metals in the in the tomb? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. This is adamantine, <gasps> which is an extremely rare and hard metal. Wolverine. It, it's. Yeah. I mean, they, they're fantasy equivalent. Um, essentially, it's not technically magically enchanted, but its nature makes it a very powerful weapon just by the metal that it's crafted from. The hammer. The hammer. Is it a two-handed weapon? Single-handed. Uh, it's a warhammer, so it's one one handed. I'm just saying. Do you, what's your hammer like? My my dwarven throw. It can be single or double handed. But I mean, is it? It's not a warhammer. Super. Oh, I see. It flies back to my hand though. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. <laughs> it is. <laughs> but you can never have enough hammers. Do you mind? 
If I no, but I mean, how are you gonna wield this? You have two other weapons. Are you, you kidding me? I'm like a fucking <laughs> you know, Home Armory? Depot of weapons. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we got what you need. Sure, go for it. What about the belt? The belt? Make an Arcana check. Let me look at that. I have no idea what that is. Oh. <laughs> just because I, I, I want to know, can I go up to like the doorway and just hit the side of the doorway with the adamantine oh, black oh, hammer? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it does require attunement to use its effect or oh, power. Oh, it needs attunement. Yeah, without attuning, I just hit the doorway. Okay. It's solid, it's hefty, it's nice. One of the better hammers you've ever wielded. It's solid, it's hefty, it's one of the better hammers I've ever wielded. But is it nice? from something to attune to this? Nope. Just to have it. Then what is it? Bag of this is totally worth it. We don't, we don't know. know. Well, any let's, of this let's shit is. well, and then let me take a look at that belt. Maybe Wait, you have to be you have to be trained in Arcana to identify. I would say, maybe. for the most part, yeah. Is anybody else trained in Arcana? I mean, you can make a base check just to give it. Like once we're not going to be around here, but to learn much check. about the nature of any enchantment mm-hmm. if you find one. Um, does twenty three do anything? I will say, looking at it, there does appear to be. Um, Runes inscribed very faintly in parts of the leather around it, and the the way the opal, like the rectangular opals, are set into it. Um, there is a glimmer of some sort of enchantment based into it. I kind of want to attune to it and see what happens. We have to take another short rest. Next time we, yeah, when when let's Next get time. a little, let's get a little further. We're about further. to go fight fucking Vecna. There's no. Is it? Are we gonna? Oh. I mean, we're on our way, but there's <laughs> much, <laughs> got a lot further to go. Ah, no, I'm dead. Well, that was fruitful. Let's keep yeah. going. All right, let's go back to the other way. <laughs> I'm a. I'm, I'm going to. A, I'm, I think I'm going to. Right. I think I'm going to try the belt on and see what happens. Oh. Yeah, do it, Fred. <laughs> While we're Don't walking, get cursed. for D. Yeah. It's obviously enchanted. It doesn't. I mean, like, you wouldn't be buried with a cursed belt. Absolutely, you would. Yep. That's exactly what no, you I would think do. That's with a, it. a fucking. I think it's a great idea. Terrible idea. We're gods where now. We, we can do right anything now. we want. Yeah, we're <laughs> go for gods. I mean, we have pulled cursed items out of tombs before. I, 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 they yeah. haven't permanently killed any of us. Sure, sure. You can do what? I, I wasn't going to say I could do anything. I well, think that's well, a we, shitty we idea need to right keep now. Moving. Let's yeah. just walk. We really need to yeah, keep we moving. We travel back down. Yeah, the other fucking direction. All right. So you head the other way. Yeah. Right. Damn it. So you're holding off? Um, I no, I want to. I want to find out. Okay. So I'm going to pull the gloves okay. off. Okay. Okay. So you asses. begin to attune to it as you guys are walking. Yeah. Oh, Take some time with it. Um, all right. So. Hope it's great. Hope it's great. Following the right path, you continue for <laughs> roughly a hundred or so feet in a switchback right. motion. Once you pass that portion of the tunnel, it seems to curve back and it ascends slightly on like a switchback path a bit. Um, you can see at this point more stairs, more carved stone steps are beginning to emerge. Some of the, the rough earth that you had encountered in the previous uh, T intersection seems to be falling away to some semblance of actual uh, holding architecture. Um, and eventually it reveals a much larger hall, a very apparent dwarven architecture. The ceiling now pulls up to about 60 feet above you, uh, stalagmites stripping condensation from the shadow above. You can hear the distant drops. In the distant uh, distance of the cavern before you, you can make out broken ruins built into the walls of each side, uh, ancient stone homes and structures that now crack and crumble with each footfall of the titan. As you hear the <laughs> the next heavy footfall, you see as a couple of stones tumble from some of these structures, <laughs> clattering across the cavern floor. Perception check. Perception check. Perception check. Perception check. Mm. Natural twenty. <laughs> Vax, you hear a faint, distant, echoing alien sound in the shadow and darkness ahead of you. Mm. Far ish. <laughs> Further than your visual range, definitely. Further than visual range. Oh, shit. Okay, we're, we've got company up ahead. We do. So, yeah. What kind of an alien language? Uh, any, any that we recognize? You just hear this faint, like, sounds like a voice. Droning, slightly changing pitch, but it's so disparate and so distant that you can't make up anything other than just noticing that it exists amongst the steady, low, kind of rhythmic rumbles of each separate footfall of the beast you now currently are within. Bags, mm. go fetch. Mm. <laughs> stealth. All right, make stealth check. Uh, pa, 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 30. Okay. 
as you dart ahead. You come up a few steps onto a, a raised kind of uh, a thoroughfare amongst the various dwarven buildings here. It looks like there is some sort of a, uh, a crevasse or a chasm that this portion of the city was built along, and you can see up above there were platforms where uh, staircases would rise up and there were raised buildings built into these chambers that have since fallen and crumbled down with the movement of the Titan, leaving these ruined piles of broken walls and floors and uh, decorative materials. You can see broken and bent, uh, looks like, um, like dinnerware and uh, metallic decorative plates or vases and such that have since fallen and crumbled beneath uh, the collapsing structures. Um, there was once a thriving city that you're now getting more and more glimpses of the further into this beast you go that has been long deserted, and now the longer it travels, it begins to be erased by the vibrations of the creature's movement. What the fuck? Um, as you continue forward, you can see there's a portion where the, the um, couldn't wait, could you? The damn growl, I thought it was a growl. <laughs> it sounded like, that sounded like a growl. It so bad. I know. <laughs> I ran out of the room. As you just crest the top of this this upper area of the uh, the road, you glance down and can see a portion of it is underwater. There's a, there's a small pool um, where droplets drop, and at the edge of it, you can just barely see the shape of a creature hunched at the edge of the water side. Uh, how close am I to that? Uh, it's about 50, 55 feet from you. Um, divine sense. As, okay. Um, divine sense to see if... It's undead. Um, it is not no. undead. You do not get an undead sense. Okay. You... Or a fiend or a celestial. Mm. Okay. And it's too far away to really get a very close view at this point in time, because it's just at the edge of your dark vision. You can just make out its shape. It's it's humanoid, it has two arms, two legs, and it looks roughly the size of you, or Vex. Oh, no, um, no, it is not. But you now see it's 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 oh, now dwarf. sitting a fallen and partially ruined dwarven statue of some kind, some sort of structure that was on a pedestal that had fallen at the edge, and it's sitting over top of it. Uh, it's got gray, splotchy skin, uh, tough exterior, it looks like armored spines or plates along its back that kind of stick up as it hunches forward like a does like some sort like of a porcupine. In, in the in the in the nine hells that we saw, in the city, or was it the city of brass? Not quite. Okay. Not quite. It's smaller than that. Um, you see a collection of odd trinkets and objects that dangle around its waist, that kind of slightly clink as it shifts and moves, uh, like a belt of scavenged trophies. Uh, its claws currently tear into some sort of unidentified claws fleshy limb. It has clawed fingers. Yeah. It's digging into an. <laughs> tears a piece of flesh off of it and kind of chews and slurps it back. Um, it suddenly freezes up. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh! oh what is Roll for an attack. Oh, what if he's those. nice? What if he's like that random creepy merchant that you Nobody find in the middle of nowhere? Nobody with their hands yeah. in the inside of a tiger. No, they're, nice. they're, we, the manners matter. I mean, it's true. What Advantage if on all three attacks. <laughs> What if so, he's like Hoggle and he I like it. Like, first I like attack it. is 29. I like it. Okay, that hits. I like it. Oh my Second head. attack. He's a nice, Not nice anymore. old man. Now he's a, now he's Second paced. attack is uh, 32. I mean, hey, if I Third could be the time, I'd be pushing it to the limit, too. Greetings. It is 27. Wow! Okay, that's... Oh, thank God you're here. Welcome, been... Wanderer. There's just no throat left. Would you like to see my well? It's dangerous to go alone. I've been for my... <laughs> Uh, Don't go in the crypt of the. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Five. So the first dagger does. Ten. Hold on. Ten. Fourteen. Seventeen. <laughs> oh, Twenty-three. Man. Twenty-four. Forty-eight plus psychic damage. Uh, fifty-four for the first attack. <laughs> the two daggers hit nothing as the first dagger strikes and just slaughters the creature, <laughs> and hits the water, and now it's kind of floats up, unmoving in the pond there. Oh, no. You can oh, see no, like the, the liquid around it darkening. You just killed an NPC. <laughs> that might be. We're not. 
in Iman hey, you know in a market here. square. You know yeah. Yeah. No one, no one knows about this. You see it? It gets like the the sheer the sheer force of the first dagger sends it off the broken statue and it it falls into the water. It's now under in hell. Hey man, nobody even knows you did anything. Okay. Perception check. All we know is you're just out there. Yeah. Yeah. You guys do hear the sizzling echoing. That echoes throughout. Thirty-one. <laughs> okay, you glance around. Nothing else seems to be moving in the chamber. Uh, I'm going to sneak up to it. Okay. Okay. You move up to it. You yeah. can see now uh, it's hurt, hunched in the it's water. Really you, its face eyes. is under the ground. Um, <laughs> okay. It's the, the water itself is maybe about waist deep at most, and it's currently like like it's just there floating in the liquid. It was okay. holding a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Flame tongue is out. What am I looking at? Okay. What am I looking at? Okay. Um, I, do you I mean like? Do you want to look at its face? Turn yeah. Okay. As yes. you pull one and take one of the spines and pull it back, you can see, um, kind of toothy jaws, kind of humanoid-like but gray and, and coming to a point where you can see kind of jagged teeth in the top and bottom row, and one singular large kind of yellowish eye in the center of its face. Oh, no shit. nose, and the eye is just slightly rolled back. <laughs> Liam knows what this thing is, but Vax does not. Correct. Fuck this thing. Uh, really? I'm gonna start looking. What is? What are the trinkets on it? Uh, make an investigation check. You don't know. You don't know what Matt would have done with whatever. You oh, think. he could do anything. But yeah, the description Corona he gave nice. me. Yeah, exactly. Was he? Clorota was was. Maybe <laughs> this. Did you say investigation or perception? See. Investigation. Investigation. All right. Thank you. A lot of opinion. <laughs> Some weird energy tonight, guys. It's like <laughs> weird energy. 19. 19. Okay. A lot of them appear to be bones, many of them ancient, yeah. and a couple of them look to be more fresh. Uh, there's a filth encrusted dagger that's hanging from the side, mm -hmm. an empty scroll case, mm -hmm. um, a spyglass, mm -hmm. uh, half of a book mm -hmm. um, that looks like it's just old and rotten and falling apart, and a singular bronze key. Okay. Uh, I rip off uh, the spyglass and go, oh, that looks nerdy. Percy will like that. <laughs> and then I you yank would. off the dagger and go, that looks all right. And I stick it in the blink back belt. And then uh, what was the last thing? Key. It was a key. 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 Bronze key. key. And then the book. To the, to the bronze yeah. door, yeah. right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, Maybe yeah. Looking at the shape and size of it, it probably would have fit pretty snugly into that door. Yeah. <laughs> In the dark, just by myself. Oh, that is fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> no book. The the tattered remains of the book. Yeah. Eh. You don't recognize the Words language in the book. Precious, eh. but what about <laughs> I don't. I let it sink back into the water. Okay. Well, it's still floating. Yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> We all float down here. Ugh, that is Max, gross. what did you find up ahead? Uh, a one-eyed, one-horned, um, swimming purple people. Come on up, please. We should keep moving. <laughs> all right, we've joined. All right, you guys approach, kind of carefully walking through the center of this this kind of twisting chasm. Uh, you come over the the kind of rise of the central road and descend to meet up with Vax, where you see there was the pool and the floating creature. Ooh, am I starting to get a vibe, or am I not starting to get a vibe of? The belt. Oh, the belt? Okay, I'd say at this point. Starting to get sure. a vibe? Sure. Mm. Is it vibe? Oh, it just says, Tell me it was more it's, dead it's, now. Okay. Uh, oh. stuff. Uh, I don't even know, you know, how, to, I don't know how to pronounce the uh, first word. The attuned gains resistance to psychic damage. In addition, they are immune to being paralyzed or petrified and cannot be knocked prone. Okay, that's, that's, that's really funny. big. As an action, you can channel your anger to produce a shockwave of thunderous energy. Ooh. As with the Thunder Wave spell, DC 16 cast at fifth level. Uh, you cannot use this feature until you complete a short How do you that. pronounce that first name? Cincher. Cincher of the Stone King. Cincher? Cincher. Cincher. It's like, a, like Spanx. We should call How it Spanx you know of that? the. How do we because not? It's a How do you not? Thing. But like, oh, wait, oh, it's like a. It's people like a, still make these. Well, things? yeah, they're like a censure, like a. Yeah, they're like a, like Spanx. Oh, I've never, I've never seen that suit. word before. Yeah. Yes. Oh, Freddie, get excited! I found a spyglass covered in diarrhea. Would you like it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, clean it, what please. What is this creature? Do we know what this creature is? Uh. We, this should be an Arcana have, check on this one, actually. That hammer is a motherfucker. And because he's arcana enjoying check. his yeah. belt. That was Can I take out? Yes. Is anyone here training Arcana? Scan then. Well, I'm not proficient in it, weirdly, but I am an Arcanist. Yeah, it's make make a check with disadvantage. A lot of rules, buddy. 
Seven. With disadvantage. Four. Oh. <laughs> Not entirely certain what this is. <laughs> oh, is that with your, is that with your ar- arcana? I mean, it's ten. Oh, well, that's better than four. Yeah, but it's still oh, sucky. Yeah. Can I take out the black metallic hammer now that he's all excited about his belt and begin my attuning period? Okay. Take a so you're just gonna tune? Are you guys gonna wait for him, or are you gonna walk no, with him? No, we're not. Yeah, far far we do it. Waiting for him. Okay, so as you kind of look yeah. at the creature and leave it there in the water, you begin concentrating on the hammer. What do you want to tuning from to make space? Uh, instead of the blood axe. Okay. So you set the blood axe away. You can tune to the uh, adamantine yeah. hammer as you begin to trek further can into. Can I? Is there anything else interesting in this cavern that uh, we can see? I'll get to that in a minute. As you begin to leave the uh, the watered pool to head further into this chasm, we're gonna take a break. Oh, wow. Wow. Guys, it's been a while. Be um, we'll be back here in a little bit, guys. Uh, we do have uh, this uh, Wenge <laughs> Dice Vault <laughs> for one of you guys' winners from our friends over at Wormwood. Uh, this is this is the same wood that I use for my dice box over here uh, for tonight. The you will win Matthew Mercer's wood Jesus. tonight. God damn it! No. Wow. That works. Uh, so yeah, so head over to the Twitch chat if you want to be entered in this when called for in the Twitch chat. Tonight's code word is Titan, T-I-T-A-N. Enter that to be uh, put into the drawing, and one of you lucky winners will have this. We'll announce you when we come back from the break. So see you guys here in a few. And welcome back to Critical Role. Uh, uh, first off, we have a winner. Um, the winner of the, <laughs> of the giveaway um, tonight is Dalin365. D A L N. Dalin365. Congratulations. Um, Denova will contact you for your uh, information and we'll get oh, that sent out to you. Oh so, man. well done. You know what? 82 people te- uh, tweeted me that Pike speaks Dwarvish. Yeah, so ditto, thanks, ditto. guys. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you for informing us. Oh, I, think, I like to think that Pike could, but wanted to let him do yeah, it. Just be like, like, you can do it. She taught him, she taught well, him to write. She taught him to read. Because you can read. I can, yeah. Yeah. So, she was like, good job. Thank you. Uh, go <laughs> it's thing. Also, where we start, Laura, something you wanted to mention at the beginning, so we're here for the announcements. Oh, man, yeah. Uncharted The Lost Legacy came out this week. It's so good. You should check it out. It's okay. You play Nadine. I play Nadine. You should go see it. Was no, that no, like a. Go see it? Yeah. <laughs> you can go in a see theater it? near you. <laughs> in a theater yeah. drive in near you. Go it's see like, it uh, and then play it. It's a match three game, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, and also Spider Man. Marvel Spider-Man show premiered on That's the 19th. Right. Well, I'm Gwen Stacy on that. Oh, that, that makes sense. sense. And yeah. Yes. Yeah, those shows are very, very nice too. Russian boy. He's I, I saw the episode too, and it was yeah. really good. Yeah. He's coming up in, in this throughout the series, and yeah. he's just a ridiculous he's character. He's great. He's fun. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, fantastic! I forgot about that. Thank you for the reminder. All right. Yes. So, <laughs> bringing it back in. We have a cool belt. Um, cool as belt. you've you've left the, the the pool and the body behind, you continue further <laughs> into this chasm. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's gonna be a good talk later. <laughs> um, Not that we heard anything about no, no. what you just did. No. I mean, you might have seen a corpse in the water floating as you walked. I don't yeah. pay attention to that shit. Okay. All right, so. Oh, I, was, I wanted to look in the chamber and see if there was anything else interesting, like, before we walked out. Uh, I mean, out. there are a number of dwarven buildings in the vicinity. Um, some of them partially or completely collapsed. Some that I just mentioned had fallen from uh, outcroppings and platforms that have since, like, fallen into the center of the chamber. Um, it's almost as if this room was meant to introduce them. <laughs> Stop it. Um, I didn't roll the perception that was 20s. I didn't roll it. Oh, you didn't perception. roll it yet? Okay, yeah. That's right, you rolled. Do right. you perceive a dead body in the water? Uh, 29. 29. Uh, glancing about, uh, there, I mean, there, there's a continuation of the path, which the, the, the chasm seems to be pinching a bit. The further forward you go, like it's closing in. Um, and you see, it looks like six dwarven households or structures that could be entered, that look at least structurally enough sound where they're standing. Mm-hmm. They don't look like. Do they look rich, or do they look? From this perspective, everything looks pretty wrecked. Okay. Okay. We're 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 in a hurry, right? Yeah. Of yeah. Course. We. I. Yeah. I'm not gonna go search for <laughs> stuff. All right. Continuing forward, the chasm does eventually, as and the the floor continues to ascend upward as you reach the edge <laughs> of where the earth begins to meet 
that uh, pinch to the edge of the chasm, and there the tunnel continues anew. Uh, there are stairs that continue for about 25 or 30 feet beyond as you ascend the steps. They begin to vanish beneath more loose earth and stone for another 20 or so feet before re-emerging again in places. Um, about 40 feet past that, the tunnel ends at a set of heavy stone eight-foot doors. The surrounding cavern has slid in places, but it doesn't appear to be burying the door to a certain extent. They're just closed. You don't see any handles. You don't see any keyhole entry point. They're just two stone slabs. They're simple. They're smooth. There's no intricate scrolling. There's no dwarven text. They're just impeding your progress. Let's have a look. Yeah, I'll look around them. Investigation. Yeah. Oh, terrible. Uh, Twenty-one. Eighteen. Okay. Um, there does not appear to be any locking mechanism. There doesn't appear to be any traps around it. Uh, they're just two stone slabs that are just jammed together. No hinges, no nothing. No. <coughs> yes, what? Greg? Oh, no, I have just had a tickle up my throat. Did you want to smash your way through this <coughs> very loudly? Oh, did you want me to smash through this very loudly? No. Oh, you were gently, not quite with a push, maybe? Yeah, maybe just try to push it first. Fine. Can I push? Wait. Yeah, can I try pushing on one of the slabs, the right slab? Sure. Make a sense check. Vax is back. My fuck up. Yep. No, I'm back. I'm up. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. You put both hands and push, push, and your fingers kind of dig into the stone. And it cracks around the exterior where you push about an inch into the stonework with your gauntlets, wow, and as cool. you push. You watch as the surrounding edges of the stone door, this is the right or the left one? The right one. The right one, right. Um, you watch as where it meets the stone cracks begin to form at the edge, and with one shift, it seems to push forward and you actually broke whatever mechanism was holding it in place <laughs> and caused that side of the door to just fall inward. As it hits the ground, you hear the echo. Well, I know a saying for this. They make them like they used to. <laughs> it, that's uh, that's yeah. uh, yes. relevant. Yeah. It kind yeah. of yeah. Sure. accurate. Um, can I see anything <laughs> immediately in the set perception check? Hey, yeah, yeah. It is oh, pitch no. black inside. There is no light or light source. Well, so. Pikes still modifier of zero eighteen. I have uh, dark vision because oh. of yeah. the bell. Yeah, not bad. All right, so you glance now inside the light. This chamber. First off, the smell of rot and stale. Uh, Time, I guess I could say, just that dusty, old, ancient, untouched scent oh. uh, just wafts from the chamber. <laughs> um, a really old fart. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Within, <laughs> uh, as you kind of glance inside, you you find a single chamber before you that splits off into two other chambers, yeah, all right. rectangular, and uh, there are the sub two other sub chambers that are beyond you. Um, they stand about twenty feet tall at the height. And about forty foot wide on the one that's the farthest side, and you can't make it far past the secondary chamber to the right. And they're, they're, it's asymmetrical; one seems closer than the other. There's essentially three chambers that are all attached together with small entryways that lead to each. Um, the floor here is covered in flaked shale, dirt, the occasional glitter of some sort of errant coin or gold piece or copper piece. Um, at this point, again, you hear the distant. <coughs> Of a titan foot fall, the chamber shakes, and a, full, a fresh layer of dust kind of falls, clouds a bit before resting to the floor. Um, that's the most you can make out just at first glance inside this chamber. Oh my more gosh. tunnels. Looking for traps, dead guys from from the door. Okay. Uh, can I can I do a peek and check to see if there's signs of any cave in potentials? Sure. Potential uh, cave ins. I will say. Make, make, you make perception check. Can Sweet. I feel if there's any wind coming from one of the tunnels, like there's an opening somewhere that leads out? Perception. With your face? Yeah, I'm just, I want to feel the wind on my face. Thanks. 28. Uh, glancing about, this chamber is very well made. In fact, the structure, based on the, the, the smatterings of gold in the ground and glancing about the way it's built, this looks to be specifically a vault. <gasps> mm. 
This was this this once contained probably a, a fatter a a, a, a a portion of the wealth of the people of this town. Oh, why somebody rolled this place? And I, I, we don't hear anybody or anything. Uh, 18, not at the moment, no. Eighteen investigation check for traps and dead guys. Okay. Twenty-five for wind. Ooh. Uh, there oh. is there is a uh, a faint <laughs> bit of of airflow through the chamber now that this door is open. Oh, can I tell where it's coming from? Uh, it is coming from the. F- the front of you and to the right, the chamber that you haven't been able to look past entirely, to the right. Um, you can glance about the entryway now, it's open before you. Um, there does not appear to be any trapped mechanism in front of you. Um, there are areas where, where some of the walls have kind of caved in slightly, like the, the ceiling is is solid, um, but there are portions where some of the wall has come in and you can see where rock slides have kind of come to rest uh, on each side, filled in some of the corners. There are like piles of rags and um, other kind of wayward bits of materials that have been left behind and kind of left to, to rot or sit. There's like an, kind of an awful, almost citrusy rot smell coming from one of the far chambers on the left. Um, I, uh, I drag in the human, mm-hmm. escort him in, and go ahead and light up my hands. Okay, <laughs> your, your hands open up. Pike has her, her, her mace. mace. Do you come in as well? Sure, all yeah. Right, so you've all walked into the yeah. chamber. Um, I think there's an exit ahead and to the right. As you're glancing and kind of doing your investigation, yeah. looking around, you notice um, to confirm that this was one th- a vault, once a vault that held quite a bit of wealth. Yeah. You look at the base of the wall, mm-hmm. the parts that you can see that aren't buried, and you can see scrapes and grooves, hundreds of them, like there were once just uh, many, many coins and other uh, heavy metallic materials that were placed in here that were just scraped against the stone as they were once. On the- on the ground. On the ground, about like maybe three inches off the ground, you can see this layer of metallic scrapes across the stonework that this place once contained well, a, a fair amount of wealth. Yeah, but so if dudes came Somebody in here and put stuff in, in sacks, there wouldn't be scrapes. Um, you do notice grooves and places and signs that this vault has already been largely raided, of course. Most everything in here has been taken probably a long time ago based on kind of the seven turns. Yeah. Um, lucky, lucky bastards. You do notice that one of the piles of rags begins to twitch and shift ahead of you. Hmm. I don't know. No, mini Jenga, mini Jenga. Mini Jenga? Mini Jenga. Well, there's something under that. Maybe you should kill it before it says anything to you. <laughs> do you want to? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's a small child down here. I've become death, destroyer of worlds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, call it. What do you want me to do, sir? I don't know. It's all you. Kill it. Detect undead. Oh yeah, good call. Oh, I don't have much of that left. Yeah, oh, my last one. Mind. I'll use it. Oh. Your okay. last one. Last one. Detect on uh, ah, divine sense. Okay, ah, divine sense. Uh, the rag. The, 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 the rag pile. That's like it's yeah. it's around this this portion of rock and and uh, fallen uh, debris. Behind it, there's that pile of rags that's shifting. The minute you focus sense. That is indeed a source of undead energy. And at that point, the rags kind of rise up, and you see a very long, kind of greenish humanoid claw extend. As the rag falls back, you see a familiar sight. Um, you've encountered trolls in the wild before, but these trolls appear to be somewhat rotting. Their flesh, strangely, like battling between decom- decomposition and regeneration. There's, the, there's this kind of shifting midpoint where it's it's. Its form and whatever cursed enchantment that it's held within it, or a sort of disease that claims its body, is battling its nature. How far away is it? Um, well, right now it's charging towards you, oh, and right. I need you to roll initiative. Oh, Everybody. Everybody. Oh, fuck. It, it slowly emerged and then okay. charged in your direction. Dun, 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 dun. Yay, map! Using all the maps we didn't use in Indianapolis. Indianapolis. I am drunk. So, look at all the gold. Whoa. That's the rag side good, there. Vax would have been right oh, there. Geez. Look at this part. Look this at this is so great cool. tile work. Oh, I love Dwarven Forge. They do good shit. Guess hey, like Matt, will you leave all this shit for me when you go to Burning Man so I can use it for... <laughs> uh, talk to Danny. she's watching our house. You can okay. borrow whatever's in there. Thanks. Um, all right, Grog? We are taking that bird. Yeah. You're you and me. You're my bird, Next. you die. You oh. and me, Liam, we're I guess I was, I was searching over here, she's looking at the house where you heard a couple You steal my bird, she will clip your eyes out. We'll defile. Your bear's with you? We'll defile. Bear is with Grog. Grog, okay. 
Okay. Here we're spotted. Trinket okay. really likes Grog. And Scanlan, you just entered the chamber behind everybody else. What's going on in here, guys? <laughs> 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 All righty. So. All righty. 25 to 20. Nope. 24. 29. Whoa. Whoa. Well, Percy. That's our Percival. Always first. All right. And then Vex. 20 to 15. Oh, I didn't roll for Pike. 16. 15. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 16. Ooh, 16 for Pike. Pike. Oh, all right. So Pike's before Grog. Pickle Rick. Pickle Rick. Pickle Rick. All right, it's Grog. And then. She uh, turns into a battle yeah. cry. Pickle Rick. <laughs> all right, 15 to 10. 11. <laughs> <laughs> Ten to five. Kills, what'd you get? Three. What is oh, going on? Oh. Do you want to? How do you get a three? I rolled a one. That's oh, right. I rolled one. So, Good thing top of the round. First of all, you dead. watch as something underneath this rag pile suddenly just emerges and then darts around the edge. You see it's kind of rushing towards uh, Vaxel Dan. What are you doing? I'm shooting it in the foot. Go for it. Um, so I'm actually making this a, a, a leg shot. Um, I've been rolling that. Fucking ball sacks tonight. Um, that's uh. Your dice. That's uh. I do I need a dice? Uh, jail. Twenty-two. I can twenty-two. When I have mm-hmm. so many. All right, twenty-two hits. <laughs> uh, that's uh. What are you shooting for? Uh, that's uh. A gun. Rest with a gun. Uh, oh, that's nice. That's good. That's good. Yeah, that's seventeen points of damage plus five psychic. Nice. And it has to uh, make a strength saving pro. The uh, uh, strength a saving, saving pro. Strength saving throw. <laughs> uh, that is a twenty. What is your twenty? So it succeeds. Oh, God damn it. That's what? fine. A thirteen plus seven. Uh, it's oh. gonna shoot it in the sh- in the foot again because that's that's what we do. Um, that's cocky. Yeah, oh, is that cock? Oh, that yeah. was so close. It. I know. Oh, that's okay. Um, that's uh, eighteen. It's twenty-four. 24 hits? You almost um, critted. I know. Yeah. Uh, that's 10 points of damage plus 5 psychic. All right. And again, strength saving throw. Uh, that is a 23. God damn it. This natural, is natural, natural 16. Okay. That's all right. And pretty strong. Um, um, and uh, just, to, just to make life. Uh, <laughs> Uh, a little, a little more fun. Let's take a headshot because obviously he doesn't want to go down. Um, and that's a, it's a twenty-five that, is. that hits. Uh, and that's one more of those and one more of these. Um, and that's um, eleven points of damage plus three psychic. All right, uh, fourteen points of damage, and uh, a Constitution saving throw. All right. Uh, wow, that is a 26. Holy fuck! Natural 18 plus 8. <sighs> Never a goddamn mind. Uh, and right. uh, with that, I'm going to uh, I'm going to dart in back behind Keyleth. All right. So wow, well, that was rough, rubble. buddy. Yeah. I'm sorry. There you go. As far back as I'll get, yeah. And I'll use my bonus to reload. All righty, and it's Percival's turn. Dude. Next, you're up. Hunter's Mark. All right, who are you marking, that guy? The troll that I see. That's right, there's the one troll. <laughs> so I'm gonna hunt this Mark Grog. Yeah, oh, there you go. Why? Okay, and I'm gonna shoot him. Go for it. With the, a natural one. With, With the natural, natural one. one. So as, a, as, as you mark him, you pull out the first arrow and you yank backward, and as the, the arrow string tenses, the actual shaft seems to snap in place. The arrow had somehow dry rotted through your travels. Oh, boss. Let's kind of chuck it to the ground. Okay, this pull another. one is gonna be sharpshooter with Blazing bowstring, so hopefully it right. a God damn it! What the oh, fuck? Two. That's a two. All right. So what's the total oh, bonus on that one? Oh, what is happening? Oh to my us? god! That's like eleven to hit. Yeah, I missed. Sorry. Jesus, H Macy. So the first arrow shatters in place. Then pull out the second one and go to fire. <laughs> and as you strike, the arrow seems like it should hit it, but instead it hits one of the rags over its shoulder that makes oh. it look like its mass is larger than it is. And just passes through harmlessly, causing the rag to flitter off, revealing its shoulder. You can see the bits of like, like greenish muscle tenu, uh, 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 sinew showing up beneath one of the gashes of its rotted shoulder. Sorry. You want to move, or are you 
You or, or uh, your can bear? I, Think again? Yeah. Can I climb up those rocks behind me and stand on the top of them? Sure. Fucking fuck. On the top of the rocks yeah. there, getting ready to fire. And then Trinket is um, going to run um, over and stand next to Pike. Right. He's going to try to protect us. There you go. All righty. Can he be on the? Can he move far enough to be on the other side of her? Nope. Okay. What's cool. his movement? Is it thirty or forty? Forty. Forty. He could actually. Yeah. He can just, just yeah, he can go to the other side. Just over there. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So ending uh, your turn. Pike's up next. Mm, bunk, bunk. Kind of a gooch smashing day. So she's just gonna walk right up to him. And re- and slam it right into his gunk. Yeah. Really? That's yeah. what she's gonna do. No that is what she's gonna no do. I guess it's undead. She can't try to turn undead. Yeah. Well, if she wants to use her last channel, div- one of three channel divinities of the day. Mm, can she like blast him with any? She's hitting him in the gooch. Uh, <laughs> it is twenty-three. Twenty-three to hit. That hits. All right. Great. Good. Gooch. Plus div- uh, the, the, the the what's it called? Divine. Divine strike. So two. Uh, Three plus four is seven plus the two d eight. Two d eight. That ain't the eight. Eight plus is thirteen. Mm. Oh, good. Twenty one. Twenty one points of damage to the gooch. Nice. <laughs> she runs up and slams it with the side of the mace as it hits. You see, there's a flash of radiant oh, energy and it burns away. So it's it. an additional two d six radiant because he's undead. Yes. Yes, that's right. Yes. Oh, Wait, okay. Oh. Wait, so Pike deals with the with the with Fiend the run dead, take extra two D six radiant damage. With her mace of disruption. Correct. Right. And then what's the additional damage? So well, that it know. that whatever I just told you. Twenty one. And now I'm gonna roll for that. I just extra did it. Seven. What was the first damage roll you did to do twenty one points of damage to her? Uh, that it? was the Mace of Disruption. 2d6 2D plus 4 radiant damage. Plus right. uh, Divine Strike. Once on each turn, add 2d8 of weapon damage to your damage total for. So that's what all he rolled, and then since it's undead, oh. it's an additional 2d6. That's right. Yeah, you're, yeah 2d8, yeah. So yeah. an Fuck additional. Yeah. Already. Right. An additional 7 because he's undead. So 28 total. So 28. Gooch shot. To the gooch. That is actually pretty damn nasty. Ward, cleric. Yep. She had to jump up to hit it. <laughs> she's at 18, right? Boom! <laughs> right on the boss. What, what at 18? Uh, well, we're no, not she's sure. At 17 or 18. 17 or 18. Okay. okay. So she gets. Real life is easy. Yeah. So she can use her bonus action to hit again if she to wants to. To hit again? That's one of her war well, domain yeah. abilities. Double goot shot. Uh, <laughs> one for each. Third, but I keep looking at mines. Same thing, 23. 23. All right, 23 hits, roll damage okay. here. So three plus five is eight, eight plus, plus four, four is 12. 12, and then the radiant 2D8. damage. 2d8. 2d6. So we're at 12 plus. Five. Five. Uh, oh no, once yeah. per turn. 17. Okay. 17. 17 damage? Yes. All righty. So a, a second hit slams, and you can see the first one where it, where it burst out, kind of burn and singed the uh, necrotic flesh. The second one hits, not as impactful, but still looks relatively hurt. That ends Spikes go. It is now. Did she move grunt. away from him? Oh no, because uh, it took. Attack. She could move. She can move back five feet. It will get attack opportunity. Yeah, she no, she's gonna. She's gonna face him down. Okay, Grog, you're up. Uh, I would like to rage, and run up into this uh, doorway. <laughs> 10, 15, 20. Can I see anything in this room? Make perception check. Okay. <laughs> Five. Nope. You see rage. Yep. <laughs> I don't see anything. So, oh, do I feel anything from the black metallic hammer that I'm holding? Oh, yeah, oh, have you trying to attune to yeah, it. Yeah, he has. I don't think you've had time yet to fully well, attune to it. He started attuning to it before the break. <laughs> yeah, it was like a half hour ago. It's not really enough time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He started attuning nah. to it as soon as Percy cool. felt something from the belt. Yeah. So if it's been long enough, you can say no. Mm. I'm just gonna keep coming in here. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Really? Oh. What? Yeah. If you want to, I'll let you attune to it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh no. Take a swing at it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll attune to it. Well, I want to death. attune to it first. You go blind. No, I'm nervous. He's going to death. Okay. So go ahead and. Uh, Are you gonna attack the guy with it? 
Well, I don't see anything in the room, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't see anything in the room. Can I make my way through here? You may. Okay. Grog, so what did I'm I think? so glad we're together at last. Yeah. Start talking right. to him again. Yeah. Oh right what if it heals him? He just hits him so hard it actually like puts health points back into him. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's Craven Edge. Can I make a reckless a attack against him? You may. It's Craven, Craven, Craven Head. Craven, <laughs> Craven Head. Craven Head. That's not great. Oh, great. man. Wow. Uh, 22. Wow. What was the natural roll? Uh, a six. A six. Um, as you swing the hammer, <laughs> go ahead and roll damage. Oh no. <laughs> Welcome this to is something game. weird. 23. You suffer 23 points of bludgeoning damage as the hammer you swing and clobble, your, clobble yourself across the face with the hammer. What? What? Oh. I'm drunk. <laughs> is it like if you roll below a certain thing, you hit yourself instead? 23, so Stop half of that is Stop hitting yourself, Stop that's the name yourself. of the weapon. 11. Wow, so it's amazing. It. Whack! You're kind of taken aback by it. <laughs> I'm so amused. <laughs> what? What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> I'll try, so I'll try again. Roll for an attack. Oh my god, roll what hard. Reckless, great weapon, weapon. best. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so Natural pumped. 20. Oh. Okay. Oh. okay. It's going to knock him out. So, roll oh. damage. Oh. Finally. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know. I've been doing a D12. <laughs> Is that <laughs> appropriate for the hammer? Oh, no, hammer? no. Did you do a D12 last time? Yeah. yeah Should I do a D10? For the, uh, for the war hammer? Two handed. War hammer is 1D8. <laughs> but if you versatile two handed, it's a D10. Let's do that. So, okay. we'll take. It's time for the last one. Okay. Since cool. you took it to the face. <laughs> That'll be amazing. No, it wouldn't. It'll be amazing. 22, 32, 32, 38. 39. 39? Yeah. That's with the double. No, after shaking your head, you pulled. I forgot to add stuff. Yeah, hold on. It's a crit, right? Did you double the dice? Wait, wait, don't, don't. Don't talk. 46. While he's adding. 46, okay. <laughs> so you reach back with the hammer after shaking your head, and with a giant angry yell, Rah! the hammer comes down and cracks into the face of the troll, oh. <laughs> causing its head to like pu push into its rib cage, and it falls to the ground. Oh. He's going to get back up. Yeah, no. It, it, does, okay. it does not make its saving throw. <laughs> it just <laughs> falls to the ground. That was Unmoving. better. Crushed. That was better. Uh -huh. <laughs> is that your turn, Grog? That, uh, that is. Vax, you're up. Is Vax, I'm up. up? Yeah. What, what uh, else is oh, there? that other room. Is there other shit in we here? We don't know what's in there. Uh, right. Um, I'm going to move past Pike. Mm. Okay. Past the troll. Uh, and hold so there. my action should anything come from that room. Okay, what are you holding? Uh, if I see a creature running at any of us, I'm going to throw. Okay, good to know. That ends your turn, holding your action. Rushing around the corner immediately. Oh! Oh, oh no! no you hear this. <laughs> As these like black, drooling, undead trolls, Ew. their oh, eyes. Like the like jet black beads, with just hints okay. of the light hitting the shine of it, um, like shark eyes. Um, this one. Oh no! Oh no! Would I be past. throwing right now? <gasps> he goes for right Keelan. There. Oh, yeah, that'll do. Um, and then this one. Yep. Here, go ahead. Yeah. Fut, fut, fut. Okay. Fut, fut, fut. Uh, first one. Did you get the card for the? For the did you get the card for the? Uh, I'm going before them, in the order. Does that mean I get advantage due to assassin? Uh, no, because this is this is their turn. Okay, cool. <laughs> You're uh, reacting one. to their action. Cool, cool, cool. Twenty-five for the first. Hits. Okay. Second is a twenty-five. Hits. Third is a fifteen. You don't get a bonus action. Always hit. This is only an action you held. So. Oh, okay, cool. Cool, cool. So. Uh, I forgot that earlier. It's fine. Right, right. Um, so what did I say for the first two? Twenty-five, twenty-five. Twenty-five, both twenty-five. Hit, yeah. Okay, okay, cool. But no sneak attack at all. Correct. So here they come. Uh, first one is 11 plus psychic damage. Is 17 for the first, and the second one is 15 for the second. 17 and 15. 17 and 15. Those, yeah. are, good. Those are good attacks without sneak yeah, attack. Yeah. 
I'm All right, so as it turns on the corner, <laughs> it just goes into a sprint towards you, rushing forward, and is going to go ahead and attack you two, twice with its claws and one with its bite. Come on, cock munch. The claw, the claw attack is 20? No. You dodge out of the first claw, it mm-hmm. strikes upward mm-hmm. uh, with, its, with its other hand. That is a uh, 22. Uh, that does hit. I'll use Uncanny Dodge on it. Okay. 17 points of slashing damage. Okay. Uh, reduced to eight. Okay. Points of slashing damage, and it's a bite attack. Ooh, that's an extra 20. Ooh! That hits. Uh, however, it only rolled a one on the damage. Yay. So that's two. Uh, you take six points of piercing damage. All right. You should make a constitution saving throw. Oh, balls. Okay, don't fail me, Raven Queen, like you've done so many times before. Uh, that is a 17. Did you drop it or did you roll it intentionally? What do you mean? Okay. I'll roll it again if you want. That's I don't fine. care. That's fine. We'll go I'm rolling it again. <laughs> oh, that's way it. worse. Nine. I love you dropped it. <laughs> I look like you dropped it. Okay, good to know. All right. Uh, so then the other one that's rushing up to you, Keyleth, is going to go ahead and attack you as well. Yeah. That is a 17 to hit. Uh, yep, yeah, hits. The first claw. I'm going to use cutting words to no poison, no. Okay. Ooh, take that down. Oh, thanks, no man. Ways, no that's all right. Say, say good to know, and then he falls. Okay. I will yell at the troll. Back to his head. Oi, troll! I would kick your ass, but I don't. I don't want troll shit on my foot. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and roll your d12. We you know, baby. You just peeked, Sam. You just peeked. We you know. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> yeah, so so with that enough of a distraction, its head turns to you over her shoulder and the swing goes wide. Yeah. Nice. Second claw strike. Only because I turn around to Scanlan and go, Which is just enough for it to roll 19 on its second attack with the claw. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which uh, deals 14 points of slashing damage. Ooh. And it's going to go in for a bite after the claw strikes into you and grabs your shoulder and it pulls you in. It's its troll mouth almost seems to hyperextend yeah. as it snaps down towards your shoulder. That is a uh, 22. Not the mantle, not the mantle. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> All right, you take eight points of piercing damage and make a constitution saving throw. Oh, constitution saving throw. Don't let me take my antlers off. <laughs> Hold my antlers. Hold my antlers. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's good, that's good. Uh, 19. Okay. Hold my antlers, um, girl. Okay. <laughs> That brings us to uh, the one. Okay, so the one on the ground that had been slaughtered by Pike, its wounds seem to heal up slightly, and as it gets up from the ground, it's going to strike out towards Pike. No. No. Getting up from prone. No. So the first strike that was is. The one I hit in the face, that's right? yeah. That is twenty-four to hit. Yes. All right. She takes eight points of slashing damage. Okay. Second attack is oh no, six plus nine. It's uh, twenty-five. 25 yeah. damage, so, okay. No, 25 hits. Oh, yeah, that hits, yeah. 10 points of slashing damage. Okay. And as it grabs both sides of her armor, it's gonna like she lift her off the ground and pull her towards its mouth as its jaw no. opens up to almost alligator chomp down on her. Like it, the sides of its mouth oh. almost curve back towards its neck. That's fucked up, Matt. Um, that is gonna be a seven plus nine, a 16, which I don't uh, believe. Yeah, she brings her shield up just in place, and as the top jaw comes down on the edge of her shoulder armor, the shield takes the bottom jaw, and she just manages to wrestle it off of her and land on her feet, unscathed yeah. by the yeah. yeah. That's gonna go ahead and end their turn. Scanlan, you're up. Me? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm, not wasting, doing, I'm not wasting my shit on them. All right. I know. I know that's I'm the torn. problem. None of us want to do anything. Yeah, yeah. We're just going to slog. Right. Slog it out, man. Slog it out. <laughs> Sorry, moving up to this guy? Yeah. All righty. Oh, God. Let him know. Let him know. There you go. Come on, 20. 16. Yeah, that's like a 26. Ooh. That hits. Yeah, 1d8. <laughs> Three plus four, that's seven. Oh, but wait, there's more. Plus four, 11 points of 11 damage. 11 points of damage as you rush yeah. up and just slip it right into the sternum of the troll creature. <laughs> it goes through and points to the other side and it kind of goes. <laughs> you pull it up. Like a matador, I turn my back to him. Because I, I don't. I. 
I don't think you can hit me. <laughs> I don't think he's got it in him. That's gonna give him advantage. Perfect. First of all, you're a dick move. Um, <laughs> that one that just got up yeah. is irritating me, so I'm gonna start by giving shooting him in the face. Please. Okay. Well, uh, we told you about irritating person. That's um, irritating. Yeah. So that's a, a 32 to hit. That hits. Good roll damage. Uh, that's uh, 12 points of damage plus five psychics, so 17 points of damage. 17 points of damage. All right, so as you hit it, it you blow a large chunk out of its side, a, a wound that should have knocked it down, and it still stands and looks towards you. That's irritating. Um, all right, hitting it again. Um, that's 26 to hit. a boy. And that's ugh, nine yeah. points of damage in one psychic. That's 10, 10 points of damage. Mm. All right, 10 points of damage. Uh, <laughs> once again, another shot <laughs> blows out part of its rib cage, and you see organs <laughs> slop out to the ground, and it kind of. For fuck's sake. Jesus. Are we missing something here? They're, they're regenerating. They're regenerating. Something's holding them together. <sighs> It could be their version of a death board. Yeah, fine. All right, I'm taking a third shot I mean, on that we, one. Uh, is it like we, we're going to have to do radiant damage? You fought trolls before. I don't remember them. We when have... were they? Yeah, we. That was that was a long time ago. Doesn't like fire work on trolls? That's what I thought. Fire. I was about to do fire. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was yeah. hoping yep. my. Right. Strings would Hang on. Do I have anything written down? Oh. Oh, that was dumb. Well. Irritated by that one, I'm going to turn my attention to the one that's bothering Keyleth and, okay. and, uh, and, and Scanlan, and I'm going to take a headshot at it. Go for it. So, just burning grit, it. it regenerates. Uh, and uh, let's take a headshot. And, uh, and that's 32 to hit. Hey. That'll hit. And that's uh, um, 16 points of damage plus three psychic, so that's 19 points of damage. Nice. Uh, and he has to do a uh, constitution saving throw. Uh, 26. God fucking damn it. 18 Stop plus it. 8. I'm sorry. I'm rolling really well for their saving throws. That's really irritating. I've wasted so much grit. Nothing has happened. All right. Uh, all right. I'm going to back up even further out of the room. I'm going to back up to the very edge of the of the, of the the existing. All right. So we'll say, like, you of back the up. Volume yeah, right there. To the volume. Which, like, you're not, you're not backing down into the tunnel where you guys had risen up where you yeah. met the door. Um, T post, please. T post, please. All right. <laughs> uh, no one, yeah. All right, that's, then it's Percival's that's turn. That's my turn. Vex, you're up. Okay. We need some fire. Yeah. Uh, I don't have I'm any of that. It. Blazing? Well, with my blazing bowstring, I'm going to try something it. something else, like poison or acid? An acid? Mm -hmm. oh. I'm going to, um, okay, I'm going to shoot the the one that I tried to hit before. Okay, the one you harness mark on it still? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to do it. I'm going to try sharpshooter again. Okay. God wow. damn it, that wow. doesn't hit. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna try it again. So is it a three? Fucking yeah, it was it a, tonight. yeah, I'm just rolling Slow. like. Plus. Plus 14 minus five. Yeah, no. Oop, my god, you Oh, are. that one oh, is. Okay. It's so that good, it's on hits. foam, but it's good. Yeah. That is, yeah, so <laughs> that, hits. that hits, right? Yeah, that hits. <laughs> okay, um, I didn't say blazing uh -huh. blowstring, so it doesn't count. <clears throat> the frog is cursed. Six, 14, <laughs> 14. Plus one lightning damage. Is he? Yeah. Sneak attack. Hey, what? You're gonna have health, yeah? Oh, yeah. Plus six. Well, Are you like resistance to fire? Hurting 14 anyone? for the sneak attack. Yeah. All right. If I and then a fireball between five me, for Hunter's be Mark. Okay. And Blazing Bowstring? I didn't say Blazing Bowstring. Oh, yeah. Okay. So. So, you, the arrow sh hits it in, in the kind of chest area. You watch the part of its rib cage caves in from the blow, and it actually exits out the back. None of the, the flesh seems to stop it, and it kind of falls Again. to the ground, unmoving. Okay. For my bonus, oh wait, that's a fourth level spell. Should I use it or not? Save it, yeah. save it. All right, I'll save it. I'm going to transfer uh, the hunter's mark to the one attacking my brother. Is your bonus action? Yeah. And then Trinket is going to run up and stand next to uh, my brother. Right. So you can get flanked at it. Love you. There you go. Yeah. Perfect. That ends Vex's turn. Pike's up. 
Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay, so I think, uh... Fire! She's gonna shoot, should you turn undead? She could turn undead, but she can't do it to... How far are they? They're probably too far apart. Well, no, she could stand between Each them and do it. undead she can see within 30 feet. 30 feet, so she stands between. She stands between She's gonna climb up on... Uh, no, I'm not no. gonna say that. Yeah, she just does it. Is it She's gonna take a step, like, diagonally down this way. Yeah. And, and then try to turn... Turn... Undead. Turn undead. Turn undead. Turn undead. <laughs> That's a whole different ability. Uh, <laughs> spell oh, save is 18. Right, so if they're 18. challenge rating 4 was, or lower, they bloat up. Uh, they're not challenge rating. Well, is it wisdom save? Okay, yeah, yeah, wisdom save. And that just means they're come scurred. On, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, uh, they all fail. Yeah. They're scurred! Oh, they're to bike. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they are all, as, as, as she holds up her holy symbol, you watch as this kind of radiant glow in the shape of Saren Ray emits from behind her, like these giant golden wings emerge, and for a moment you can see the beautiful dark complexion and flaming hair kind of rise behind Pike. And as that scatters outward, you watch as the faces of these undead troll creatures all of a sudden shift into this like absolute horror, and they all go and begin to make their way to turn and run. Turn and run. Yeah, they have to move, move away as far from away as you can from yeah. the from person. Her. Yeah. It also cannot take reactions. For its action, it, it can use only, only the dash, dash action. Run right yeah, All they can do is run. If yeah, it's got run. nowhere to move, it can yeah. use dodge. Abu, run, yeah. run, 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 Abu, run, run. Exactly. Uh, how long does it last? Uh. It doesn't say, does it? <laughs> One minute. All right. Oh, or yeah. until, <laughs> or until it takes any damage. damage. Right. Okay. So, that ends Pike's turn. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. Grog, you're up. I'm gonna run over here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. And I'm going to smash your pants. Um, the troll, reckless, great weapon of faster. All right, go for it. Smash your pants, McGee. Natural 20. That's the third one today. Oh, shit. Good. Oh. Right, D10. T10, yeah. Mm. Nine. Ten. 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 Sixty-three. Oh, oh, as you rush up behind, as it's turning to run away from Pike, it turns around and its face comes right to yours as you go, whack! Its jaw rockets off nice. and just like scatters across the ground. Yeah. You think that? You think that? He's got a teeth. Yeah. yeah. It's more of a jagged headbutt. Um, so that's your first attack. That's good. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean. 19. A natural <laughs> what? Has to like a, a natural <laughs> shit. Because I like to get uh, you on his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> he, got, he got a little. Uh, so it's a. Uh, shit, I can't, I can't do reverse math. You <laughs> mean <And> subtraction. <laughs> 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 Was it eight? <laughs> Thank you. All right, does 19 hit your armor class? Yeah. Roll damage. Oh, God. Oh, oh no. This thing has got, this guy has got up and down. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no I, can't, I can't do math at all. 24. Uh, 34. You suffer 34 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. So, 17. So he didn't strike the troll at all. No. no. So the troll still scared. You knock the draw off, and as you swing back <laughs> with the backward strike, you the arm seems to swing around in a circle and then clobber you in the back of the head, and you're like, oh. Oh, you like spit blood on the ground, oh. and you feel the ringing in the back of your skull. Oh, God. Wow. What wow. the fuck is this stupid so, ass hammer? Is he's he so excited? Oh. You guys look over and watch as Grog bludgeons himself in the back of the head. <laughs> I didn't know you were so flexible. Are <laughs> you drunk? Are you drunk? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Any grog's turned back, you're up. 
Uh, that guy's no longer frightened, by the way, because you did do damage to him. As my oh, bonus action, do oh, I do have a bonus action. Can I use uh, my second wind? You may. Thank you. Go for it. One, two, ten. Three plus six plus. <laughs> a hammer is called that. I know. I can't wait to read the card. There you go. What you doing, Vax? Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, turn to Trinket really quick and say, "Guard this uh, dead thing," and then I'm going to use my movement and dash action, if necessary to sprint around and flank that troll uh, between me and Grog. All right, because it is frightened, it is an, and it's from the view of Pike, it does not make an attack opportunity on you. Okay. You can notice you the moment you step over and rush this way, and you are now there oh, flanking it with Kilo. Flanking with Kilo. okay. Uh, shift, shift in the bottom. You could just scan, scan them if you wanted to move there. If, if Keyleth is on the other side, I'll just go. Keyleth's there, or scan them that way. As long as I'm flanking, either way. Sorry, do you want to go the other way? Uh, no, I'm fine. I'm I'm playing with Keyleth right now. To the butt. Might drop a fireball. To the butt. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, Twenty-eight on the first, and uh, twenty. Uh, uh, it was eighteen uh, thirty something on the second. Yeah, they both hit. Okay, so first one is four. Plus eight is eleven. Plus psychic is twelve. Plus those guys. Twelve, thirteen. Not that great. Thirteen, sixteen, nineteen, twenty-two, twenty-six, twenty-eight for that one. Ow. Sorry. Oh, twenty-eight points of damage. Yeah, and it, then this. Hold on. Oh. Yeah, it falls to the ground, unmoving, as you stab at the back of the skull. You guys watch as the dagger, uh, as whisper like protrudes from the front of the skull, and it kind of. And slumps okay. to the ground. That was the first one. Uh, yeah. People whisper back out. The second one, I'm going to shove it down into its eye eye socket and just grind it around for the second okay. attack, Why? even though it's down. Okay, so it's on the ground. It's easy enough. You go ahead and grab the back of its, its motionless skull and like mm -hmm. jam and like, dig around and scramble the brains on the inside with your dagger. Okay, yeah. that's it. All right, that's your turn. Done. All right, ending Vax turn. Um, the the corpse in the ground. As you're scrambling its brains, suddenly its other eye flickers open, uh -huh. reaches up, and grabs you, and from cool. the ground, it's cool, going to cool, attempt, cool. it's going to use fires. you to pull itself back up. we got to yeah. chop it up, or set it on fire. fire. Uh, it's going to go ahead and take, at this point, it's going to take a, a claw attack at you. Cool. That is uh, 20. Nope. As it tries to claw at you, you just kind of barely dodge it out of the way. Your hair kind of Please, son. as it passes. It's going to spin around and claw at Scanlan ah, behind me with a uh, 17. Yeah, of course. All right. No. They all have three, two, uh, nine points of slashing damage. Sure. And after it gets, after it finds purchase on you, it realizes that you're a little more vulnerable. Its claw still dug in your shoulder. It's going to pull you in, and it's going to attempt to, using its upper jaw, jam its teeth down into you. The mm. lower jaw with the tongue is just kind of dangling out at this point. Like, <laughs> Uh, that is that's 25. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You take five points of piercing damage and make a constitution saving throw. No. Okay. What does it mean? God, I did a constitution save like 20 minutes ago. No, I don't know what it means. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, I got West Nile. 23. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, oh, this one's going to get back up Aww. from the ground. It's okay. going to crawl its way back to its feet and it's going to. Uh, unload on Pike again. It's it hasn't right been there. hit yet since since she since she uh, since she uh, uh, turned, it, turned it was dead when she did turn undead. It was not affected oh, by it. Okay, so it but does. it has since regenerated itself back. Was it dead or was it undead? undead. I'm just being stupid. Go for it. No worries. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, its body was not moving. It was not actively present and able to pay attention when the first effect God, happened. Damn it. Fuckers just keep getting up and up. It's all uh, the, four plus it's all, all that's all not hit. All 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 it's fifteen. Coming. That's a 14, <laughs> then with its bite attack, that is a 22. What's her armor class? 14, 22, 23. 23, 23 with the yeah. shield, yeah. Get she, you stepping. It goes to bite towards her, it's like jaw, like tearing open the, the, the muscle, actually like stretching and pulling with each bite as its body kind of falling apart. And she just beats it back with the armor and shield, no effect. And this one here, uh, which has not been damaged, it's like just gonna go ahead and uh, run the fuck away. Uh, you guys don't even see where it is right oh, now. Oh, bye, Mark. All right. That brings us to Scanlan's turn. All right. Jesus. <laughs> oh, there's all these people around. Is just smoke us. Turn? Come on, man. Come on, just all do right, it. I'm gonna step away from turn? the from the troll. Okay. 
Uh, and I'm gonna light it up. Back. It's mm-hmm. gonna go ahead and I make. I thought it was frightened. No, it wasn't no. until he hit it. I don't know. You can ask. He's not frightened anymore. Oh shit! Oh, all right. Oh, it's gonna take a. It's gonna try and swing its bite at you once more. All right. All right. That is a uh, fifteen. Yeah. Still hits. Okay. Jeez, yeah. Scanlan, you need better armor. Don't you have Matt. a plus two to? Nope. Did you skip no. me? That's all. Uh, no, you're last. You're after Scanlan. <laughs> Scanlan, yeah, you know I've got. Uh, I've roll got roll armor. Shit. You got. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now I remember that. No, no thanks. Oh, that's give you last turn. You mean? I'm gonna give it to you uh, after this. No, if, if this is the second what? time he's I'm already going, wearing right? Correct. Oh, I must have skipped you last round. I'm so sorry. That That's okay. Double attack. Yeah, I don't think I've done anything Why? yet. No, I'll I've give you two rounds. Dodged. I'll give you two rounds after this. It's my Your fault. Armor okay. is my sure. fucking armor. I gave it to you. That's totally my fault. I'm sorry. I'm that's okay. Um, so anyway, that's uh, six points of piercing damage to you. Sure. Make a constitution saving throw. Ooh. Ooh. Natural 20. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, Keyleth. What are you doing twice? Because it's my fault. It's my turn. It's still my turn. Oh, that's right, sorry. Fireball. <laughs> nice. Fireball? Wand yeah. of fireball. To who? To that troll who just hit me. 20 foot. I was backing away so it wouldn't be in you're my... Gonna, you're going to smoke everybody? Yep. I asked. Yep. I'll be fine. <laughs> you, you can kind of place it to where it might hit both of them and not us. That's true. Is it that it's big? That yeah, big? That's 20, 20 yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh, shit, yeah, dude. dude. Well then, yeah, I'm smoking them both. Do it. All right. Yeah. That's gonna. This. That's is gonna. How gonna do. In order to do that, yeah. you're gonna hit Everybody. Pike, Bax, and Grok. Mm-hmm. Sorry, friend. That's okay. Pike has fire resistance, she which is dies. good to know. I can, you don't have to hit me. <laughs> so I need uh, yeah, Grog, Vax, and Pike to make dexterity saving throws. Is it possible to do it without hitting Grog? Uh, nope. Not at that size. I mean, I mean he, he probably this could. This is a wand, but by the way. Hit, it'll hit Trinket. Uh, <laughs> your choice. Your for Pike. Your your ch- Pike. Scanlan's choice. Hit Trinket yeah. or hit Grog? Uh, Grog or Trinket? You can hit one or the other. Choice. Absolutely Shite. Grog. <laughs> I love my Trinket. <laughs> Sorry, Pike. Wait, Sorry, it just goes Pike. back into the next All right, so uh, neither of the trolls. All right, you're right. Then I'll hit Trinket. Okay. <laughs> All right, roll a dexterity save for Trinket. Oh, motherfucker. You're so tired. I uh, oh already God. rolled terribly for Pike. Jesus. Uh, I'm Why using, you... It's a wand. Yeah. So I'm you using for the three, three, three charges. Three charges which to do the third level. 10d6. <laughs> oh, right. All right, so 10d6 points of fire damage. Yeah. Can't wait. All right. 11. Do you need to 11? I have zero d6 right now. Okay. I don't know what one, happened. All right, so. I have 10. Four, Pike got a five. five yes. Six. Vax got a 20. Seven, eight. Okay. Nine. And your spell, what's his DC on the wand? 15. 10 D6. So, yeah. So, so you succeed, you take no damage. No damage. Being a rogue. Lovely. Lovely this. And the pirate is. Uh, this is six. What? Your six or I can't remember. Fire resistance. Cool. 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 Yeah. That's that. Cool. Uh, flip it cool. over. Cool, cool, cool. This is cool, so cool, cool, good. Cool, this is fine. Cool, cool. That's a good roll. 40. So 40 <laughs> points of fire damage, 20 to Pike, because she's resistant. Pike, yeah. okay. None to that, 40 to the Trinket. Um, and good. you watch yeah. as... Um, <laughs> you Don't you have fire resistance? Both, Not in this thing. Both of the standing trolls yeah. just scatter to ash. Just <laughs> yes. 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 turn to God. burn. Dust and nothing as their bodies are consumed by the flame of the fireball, <laughs> leaving nothing but smoke and a shadow of their form against the wall. Um, all right, Scanlan, that ends your turn. I was barely about 200 hit points. Yeah, okay. and just to refresh, that's a wand. Does that still use my my spell slot? No, the no. wand has charges on it. Yeah. <laughs> can, can you, you use that wand again? I, yeah, yeah, it regenerates after a long rest, or after a roll for it. Yeah. Um, but it's not a one shot, it's got several charges, right? It's got several charges. Yeah. Okay, good, good. It's good, got good. more in it. Okay. Can you let's turn to everyone? Good hustle. Good hustle, everybody. Good, good job. job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Traps and see if there's anything so Keyleth, interesting in the. Uh, Pike says, yeah. we probably have a bad. Oh, there's another. still one troll over here that's, that, that ran out of sight. Uh, you have 45 seconds, maybe, before that other troll realizes that he's not scared of me anymore. Well, let's go plunder the loot. There's loot. Uh, you guys go plunder the loot. I'll kind of creep me over. To the troll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, go yeah. kill okay. the troll. The Look over to. Sorry, sorry, I'm missing your turn. I feel bad about that. That's okay. You're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're just going where? I want to see. I want to see you if I can see him. Turn. Six, and you're gonna go into dash with your action, move over. Can I not see him? Not, no, no, not with your basic movement. No. 
There's a wall. Yeah, you have two, you might have two, as well. You have two turns up. Yeah, that's true. You, you do. do. Yeah. Okay, okay. so you move around the corner one? and you watch as the troll is currently like locked in the corner, but it's back to the wall going. <laughs> He's got Never a really pretty necklace hey, on. Hey, hey, it's okay, it's okay. Calm, 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 fireball! Not with the staff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nah, don't tread on me. Goodness nah, gracious, great balls of fire! Yeah, no, nah, it won't hit anything but himself in the surrounding chamber. All right, so go ahead and uh, roll damage on that. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, can I get two more d6s from you? You're doing a standard 8d6? or? Okay. Um, it's on my staff, I can't do any more, oh, right? right? Yeah. Just, yeah. I lose all my D6s. Uh, roll ones. Three you got two ones there. That's a one. Yeah. Yeah. Like a yeah. D6. Like a, like like a, a D6. D6. <laughs> like a Whoa. D6. Whoa! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Critical. Okay, so Critical. 10, 16, 24, 8, uh, 30, 5. 35 damage. 35 damage. Alrighty. <laughs> The explosion hits and bursts around. The flames burn. You can see like some flames are catching on the trolls. Like, hey, oh no! Still alive? Still alive? Yeah. Okay. What? Okay. I'm gonna take my uh, bonus action to do something I've never done before, and I am going to trace from my staff and pull out a flame blade. Shing. Okay. What? So you guys watch as Keyleth puts her fingers across the top of the staff, and where her fingers kind of arc around, it creates this. Arc of fire, what? and when she stops, she grabs onto a hilt that didn't exist, but now does in her hand. And that, that arc of flame that stayed suddenly solidifies into a scimitar like blade that's in what? her hand. No, she can do that. You fucking can do that? Druids, man. She's a fucking Jedi. All right, that's pretty then end your turn. Yeah. All right, and Percy. then I'll just oh. wait for it. Yeah. Um, Percy, you're up. You didn't even see it. I'm, I'm just know, gonna. I know. Can't of course, even that see that room. she did that. I can imagine in a, the abstract uh, no, universe, though. Don't. I sure you can, don't. Laura I Bailey. Bailey. I sure can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look who's back in the fight. Yeah, that's all. Ain't nothing else happening. You're just, just going and looking for loot. Yeah, yeah. She's okay. got it. <laughs> it's true. Like you're yeah, not don't gonna like You know what happens when that happens. Yeah. All right, it's Percival's turn. Uh, Vex, you're up. Uh, I'm gonna look for loot. No, I'm gonna fly over. Can I? Well, can I get to a place where I can see the troll? If you well, how many is this? Sure. Are you gonna fly down? Well, on your broom. My, I have 50 feet on my broom. You can dash. Broom dash. You can get right around there and see it. Yeah. There you go. I'm gonna shoot him. <laughs> All right, go for it. And he's yep. still hunter's marked. He is. Yes. Blazing. That's not a Hawaiian leg. Uh, 17? 17 does it. Oh, thank God. <laughs> nope. It is ass. I didn't say it. It didn't happen. 13. Uh, 13 plus Four. three lightning damage. Plus, plus one hunter's mark. Got it. So the first strike hits it. It slows like the fire kind of trailing up its body. Uh, second shot. Uh, 21. That say hits. the thing that you wanted to say. The blazing bowstring? Yeah, yeah, that. Blazing bowstring, but I didn't say it. She didn't say it. <laughs> Sorry. Nine. I only get two per short rest, so if we don't rest, don't then I don't get it again. Yeah, yeah. Don't save our lives, whatever you do. Six, Six. lightning damage. Nice. Plus nine, plus two. Eleven. All right, so both arrows <laughs> hit it in the chest. One, two. Um, and it's still kind of standing there, the flames curling around it. The ceiling, by the way, from the impact of the fireball is like. Dying. It's looking pretty uh, pretty fragile. Uh, yeah. But that's the exit. That's where we need to go to. You do see, uh, Keyleth, from this perspective, there is a small opening on the far wall where it looks like possibly whoever raided this vault had previously tunneled Shit. into it. No. Shit. Would oh, would Trinket 11. have been able to make it Making over to structure? him? Hmm? Would Trinket have been able to make it over to him? Uh, yeah. yeah. They would have been Fireball really close. Thing. Probably, probably not. You There's don't know. There's several factors. It's About possible. 17 factors. <laughs> and your turn, Vex? Yeah. Pike's up. Uh, Pike saw Keyleth go running down that way, so she is going to uh, run after her. All right. Yeah. 
one, two, three, four, five. And she will. She can't see the troll she from there, right? She can see the troll just past the corner that yep. she has. Lighted see the from. troll? Oh my god! I think it's time for a guiding bolt. Oh. Guiding bolt at the butt. butt. <laughs> guiding bolt. That's guiding one of her. That's her next T-shirt. Butt. Guiding yes. bolt up the butt. That's true. <laughs> uh, range 120 feet. Fuck a flash yeah. of light streaks towards a creature of your choice within range. Make a ranged spell attack against the target on a hit. The target takes 46 radiant damage. 46. Next attack, roll me. Okay. Can I roll? Yeah, Do make it. a spell range attack plus 10 because it's pike. Oh, we have to attack. Yeah, you gotta oh, you attack. You roll to attack and I'll roll for damage if you hit. Yo, here's the white die you gave me. That's good. 13 That's 13 plus 10 is 23. That hits. Good roll damage. Well. Extra damage because it's undead? No, I don't think so. No. Do extra damage. No. 10, 12. <laughs> Guiding bolt. 12. On right 12 up the point. Point. Specifically towards the taint, Matt. She's aiming for, this is area. the same, no, this is a different guy that she grundled. Pike's on a tear today. All right, so, um, as she comes around the corner and with the holy symbol in one hand, kind of clutching behind the shield, she notches the edge of the mace at the edge of her belt and releases a bolt of energy. How do you want to do this? Oh! oh Pike is one. Uh, because, 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 because um, the radiant Very damage damaged. shuts down the undead fortitude. Oh. And the fire knocks Burn. down the regeneration. The guiding bolt oh, streaks through the air, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. loops down to the ground, up through the butt, up, the butt. up out the <laughs> head, yeah. out and, the mouth. And, and out the mouth, and everyone vaguely, vaguely, vaguely hears, that's my bike. <laughs> and its head explodes. Like the impaler. Dead, you, you see the, 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 the radiant energy bursting out of its eyes, and as it screams, its head blasted upward, the energy bursting through its mouth, the jaw begins to burn away as the flames left over from the fireball consume the rest of its body as it tumbles to its knees and then burns in this kind of skeletal mass that turns to ash to the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That happened in like six seconds. It was like... Yeah. We need nice. to get out of here. Andy. It's crumbling. Uh, there are chests about. Take yeah, my, I take my flaming sword and just do a few Jedi like oh, Jedi shit. kid moves. <laughs> <laughs> just when no one's looking, just go <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Right. boom. <laughs> so check, 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 check the chest. I can check the chest on my chest right there. Yeah, let's check the chest. Check the chest for traps. Yeah. It's like early internet. You look like a handle. 14. Thank you for bringing that back. Uh, 14? Okay, does not appear to be trapped. <laughs> All right, then I'm going to open it. Open it. There are seven gold pieces, oh, two silver, yes. and the rest yes. of it's empty. God. Awesome. Oh my God. God, think of all the. Look at all this. Just person you want to check out. we can buy yeah. with that. Uh, check the traps. Heavily rated. All, right. all the beer. Check. All the beer. <laughs> <laughs> all the one beer. Um, Six pack of Natty Ice for It's a. Uh, uh, beast. Uh, 22. <laughs> 22, okay. The room does not appear to be trapped. What right. you can see. Mm. I'm going to check that Check that, tra that trunk. All right. Check the chest. Can you check out the traps as well? Yeah. Yeah. Can you see anything from that doorway? What you gonna can do I see anything from that uh, doorway? This is not quite uh, as a, a perception check. Seven. Seven? Doesn't appear to be trapped. All right, I'll open it. Don't fuck me, Gil. I wander in and it go. opens. It's not locked. Ooh. 26. There's about 12 pieces of gold, Ooh. two copper, two silver. Uh, this place has been okay. cleared out. Been, I'm going to pick up that little <sighs> pile of gold, hey, those like that. couple pieces of gold okay. I see on the ground, and then. Okay, so you, you gather it. what, what amounts to about 35 gold pieces <laughs> from there. Oh, wow. What'd you roll? 26. 26. You're watching yeah. just as one of the supports that, like, the, the, the ceilings here are pretty solid. The one on the far end here has sustained damage from the fireball. And the seeming uh, drilling entry that whoever came in here previously, and the constant moves of the Titan. <laughs> at which point you watch and you feel the, the, the most go, recent footfall of the right. Titan, and the whole ceiling right there in the corner goes. I this see. This entire. I see a, a chamber. I see oh, oh, door. Door. Oh. door. Door. Cover? Can you get through it? Remember, yeah. there were three different ways though, and then mm. we just took one. Oh. That's the one we need. Yeah. This is it. Well, Let's get through here. All right. What? Okay. Realizing that the druid and the Goliath are gonna have to figure that out, Vax walks to the middle there and starts to take a wee in the corner on the okay. side. That yeah, because it's been a long time. We don't it's want a long the time. To do we want to go spells. through the collapsed doorway, or do we want to go back to Still the one of the wee. other? Well, tunnel we already. Options. Whatever other tunnel options is probably other monsters, or trolls, or fucking undead waiting there too. Go through this door. So let's just fucking go through this. This one. is on you, Grogs. I, 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 I can. No. I can do a few things. Don't I can use any spells. 
no spells. Don't use any spells. Well, hang on, Grog, hang on. punch through this shit. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Okay. I'm, I'm, I can commune with nature and maybe like figure out the tunnel system, or depending on where we are and if we think it's like now we're on that time crunch and we want to get going, I didn't want to burn this yet, I did bring Find the Path, which is a one day concentration spell, which just gets us to where we want to go as quick as possible, like finding, like, but, but I don't know. But can I do I'm, that I'm not with an expert Thar- in your Thala? magic? But don't you need to know where you're going for that spell to work? Well, you if know. we're getting we're going to Tharampala, that's um, but I'm Ampala. Ampala. it's a big city. Ampala. Get, getting to the uh, top. It's, concentrate, it's concentration for up to one day. Right. But it only lasts until you lo- if you lose concentration mm-hmm. halfway through. Which is why I haven't wanted to do it yeah, yet. Yeah. Mm. Until no, we I felt like we needed to no, go. I think we'll find a specific it. fixed location you're familiar with in the same plane of existence. So you mm. could, in theory, say Tharamphala, and it would guide you to the fastest path there until, until you lost you concentration. Have, but if, yeah. Yeah. if in an hour somebody threw it. I'm just saying we have that at our disposal uh, when we, we go down the hallway and when we feel. Let's, uh, let's, do let's, we do we want to just do a quick commune with nature then to try sure. and get paths? It's going to take a few minutes though. But what would that tell you? I, get a no I, I could get like an idea of the tunnel system Cause, for cause like a three mile radius. Okay. okay. Yeah, let her do her thing. Right. I think we can afford a few minutes. Right? Could I do yeah. that? Yeah. And Grog could finish it's a tune. Possible. Oh no, you did. The, stop hitting yourself. Oh hey, yeah. Tuned, right? Have I finished the tuning with the <laughs> black hammer or face smash? Oh yeah, yeah, no. It's okay. it's is the hammer called the stop hitting yourself hammer? Um, <laughs> I mean, the best yourself. you can make out with it, it is an adamantine hammer, but there is something wrong about its enchantment. Yeah, no shit. There is some there is <laughs> there is something about it that is locked into your soul at the moment. Oh, no. ah! And <laughs> yeah, it, it's like occupying a portion of, of yourself to the point where you, you don't work on a crit on Vecna and KO yourself. Yeah, maybe. Oh. I mean, what Pike. With Pike, you Pike, who you guys have dealt with cursed items before. This is a cursed item. Yeah. Can she? Greater can restoration. Can she greater restoration, restoration in? Looking. Well, I don't. Do I know it's cursed? Yet? It's but a familiar Pike can feeling. Tell it's I guess. Familiar, we can guess Craven. that shit. Well, Craven wasn't cursed. Craven was intelligent. That's right. This is just a like, like something is just sunk into you. No card. Is there a yeah. card for it? She's gonna try to greater restoration. Card. <sighs> Okay. So she's gonna so come up Where now. Yeah, she'll grab him by the cheeks and squish the cheeks and say, "Grog, what? Grog, what? Stop don't hitting yourself. Go <laughs> touching things you don't know what they are. Cast greater restoration. Okay. So mark off the, the so greater restoration. I mean, you got like, it. We sort of gave um, it to him. As, the, Pike. As, as you feel the hammer in your hand, and it's like your fingers won't let go of it, like they're almost clenched to it. The minute she touches you, you feel this warmth kind of pass through your body, through your arms, to your hand, and with that. Your fingers widen, and the hammer just <laughs> falls to the ground there, and that hold that it had on you is lifted. The curse has been. I think I'm just gonna leave this here. That's cool. Yeah, uh, no, it's all right. Yeah. Sure. You don't you, like... The mom look and says, "Don't touch it." Okay. Can you? Do you have time to attune to your other thing? Yeah, I'll pick, oh, yeah. I'll pick up the blood axe out of the bag of holding and start attuning to that again. We learned Old about trusty lesson. blood axe. Sometimes okay. things are cool. Sometimes. So you guys sometimes are taking a short cool. rest yeah. to attune. And uh, while she's in if, if, I, if, if in DM caves and other to... natural underground settings, is make this... a nature check. Make a nature check. Make a nature check. And then yeah. the radius is only three hundred feet when you're underground. Come on, purple girl, nature check. We are in a body. Is that natural? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Whoa, what's that good? mean? Twenty-five. Yeah. Twenty-five. Uh, one, this is not a natural underground location. The entirety of this area is the inside of an ancient, powerful, elemental entity. Mm-hmm. Also, mm-hmm. the spell doesn't function where nature has been replaced by construction, such as dungeons and towns. So, for the most part, that spell would not aid you. Okay. My okay. apologies. So, However, but you're not letting me cast it, right? I would not I'm not letting you cast it. The nature okay. check was to see whether or not it would have, like, the surroundings would help you. Okay. So you know not to waste that spell. So as you take your short rest, you attune to your proper weapon, and you begin to talk amongst yourselves as to what the next proper path or action to take is as you climb through the crypts towards your destination. We're gonna go ahead and end tonight's session there. It's just past 11, so. I gotta take a picture of this. Holy shit. I mean, I know the internet has it, um, great king, guys. Wow. Well done. We'll wow. pick this up in a couple weeks. Ooh, when we got everything at us. I'm gonna do two more. This is an, this is an upward dungeon crawl. This yeah, is holy fun. shit. Yeah. <laughs>
Mm-hmm. Uh, he must have fallen like him burn a, a few more against the dice. mountain in like an upright manner. Oh, the uh, Titan. Yeah. The Titan was was thrust into the ground, like in a mountain range, and the mountain range kind of rose up around it. Like part of what, technically, and you wouldn't know this, doesn't matter. A part of the the battle that smote this Titan basically thrust it downward and created the mountain range around it. Um, Nice job, Matt. Nice job, you guys. That was awesome. Pick this up in a couple weeks. You guys will return next week where you'll get to see this awesome man run his awesome game. (laughs) It's going to be awesome. It's all set in the world of Alice in Wonderland. Is it? No. No. I was like, what? That would be cool. Uh, and guys, have so much fucking fun on the playa. Recharge, you, reset, we will. energize, we go nuts. Thank miss you. you. We'll miss you too, guys. Any critters who are on the playa with these guys, they will take off their clothes if you ask no, them. Don't. No, 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 they need to recharge and give them some space. Let them recharge. Yeah. Let, Let them recharge. <laughs> Okay, see me okay. topless. Please don't take a photo. Oh God! <laughs> Why would you say that? Why would you say that? <laughs> <laughs> it was a joke. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it was a fucking joke that the internet will take too seriously. Sure. <laughs> sure. That's why. I'll right. be topless on Sam's one shot. You can look there at me. There you go. Yeah. That'll work out. Yeah. Yeah. If you see Liam topless. Definitely. Take all the photos. Please do. Take all the photos. Push for seven days. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> we'll permanently fuck up your white balance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Well, we're going to take off. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Uh, rest well, and uh, is it Thursday yet? Yeah. Good night. The Stand Aside.